Toronto said, we're coming out second, so here come the Hurricanes. To a standing salute.
Sung. He's a terrific pass rusher. We've got pluggers in the middle. Fleischauer and the Wallace lock the run. There's the great linebacking trio of Arrington, Short, and Morrison. Some say the best trio at one time Penn State's ever had. That's saying a lot. Third down. Kelly from the shotgun. Big rush. Downfield throw. Santana Moss can't get to the ball. Well defended by the Nittany Lions. So Miami's the first three plays from scrimmage, a loss of six yards, and they'll punt from deep in their own end. And, Don, it was the three All-Americans that made the first three plays. You had Courtney Brown on play number one, Arrington and Brown on two, and there was David Macklin, their All-American corner, with great coverage on the deep route. The punt, not a good one, end-over-end kick. It does take a Miami roll up to midfield to the Penn State side, and it'll roll down to the Nittany Lions' 47-yard line. There's a penalty marker down, though, from where the ball was kicked. It was a 41-yard punt. No return. The official officiating crew is a Big East group of officials. Looks like uh, Penn State's going to take the kick. Here's Dick Honig, our referee. On the kicking team. This was a lightning rod last week in the Pittsburgh game. Arrington roughed up the pit punter. Was he got a double personal foul? Here he is late with the shot on Crossland. How about Crossland the punter getting after Arrington two weeks in a row? Good job by Arrington pulling away at the end. Rain has begun to fall, so the possibility of rain is now the real thing. Gopal's got to wipe off the specs. You can't imagine the tension, Dad. Jamie was our last hope. Phone calls like this are just too important to rush. Their picture was huge. That's why we always dial 1010-321. And then Jamie really smacked it. With 1010-321, our calls over 10 minutes are just 8 cents a minute, day or night. And at 8 cents a minute, we can talk as long as we want. Grandpa wants to talk to you. Hi, Grampy. I won the game. Get 8 cents a minute with 1010-321. From my family's healthy smiles, I found the combination. Crest Multicare. One toothpaste that combines all you want. It removes stains, fights cavities, and visible tartar buildup. Brushing with it removes plaque. And it leaves our breath multi-fresh. Now our teeth are cleaner and healthy through the day. Crest Multicare. The combination to unlock our best smiles. Several things. That's punt number one. 
This against Pittsburgh. No flags yet. And there was more. We'll get to that later. Right now, Miami with the ball. This is Penn State's pass set right here. Fate with the ball. Miami's defense kicks in. They're looking at Eric McCoo now, and they upend him as he cuts back inside the 38-yard line. So Eric McCoo is taken down after a run of five yards. He led Eric McCoo did the Nittany Lions in rushing as a freshman last year. Kevin Thompson, the senior co-captain, tells him the biggest honor of his life. 60% completion, four TDs, three interceptions, does not run. Averages a half yard running per try. The backup quarterback, though, Richard Casey, who runs to the very best. We'll see him. Penn State. He's running, he's got some room. Hey, he can run. He's inside the 30, no sooner said. A half a yard of carry. He just killed his average there, Mike. He sure did, and he's not the running quarterback, Don. The running quarterback is Casey. But what happens is Michael Burrow takes the play fake, and he bit real hard. The right end from Miami, number 93. Watch 93 bury inside. He's got contained. It's all over. And now Casey, excuse me, Thompson, only runs about a 4.9540. He can walk for the first down. Had 11 yards and a first down. All advanced to the 25-yard line.
you can add that to the long list of things he was wrong about. Call toll-free 888-537-8320 or visit Ameritrade.com. Ameritrade, the way to trade, period. We've heard your complaints about changing your oil filter, trying to grip that slippery filter. That's why Fram, America's number one filter, now has Sure Grip, a rough texture top for easy gripping and installing. It makes changing your oil filter a lot easier. They've been struggling at the plate, but there's a nice breeze blowing out towards right field. From spring to fall, you can feel it in the air. From the sunshine leagues of Florida to the farmlands of the prairies. From the schoolyards of New York to the golden fields of California. It's allergy season. That's why there's Claritin, the number one prescribed antihistamine in America. Talk to your doctor about Claritin. And when the umpire yells, play ball, you'll be ready. Claritin, the official allergy medication of Major League Baseball. Claritin has a low occurrence of side effects such as headache, drowsiness, fatigue, and dry mouth. Similar to sugar pill. It's going to be everything you want and more. I think it's sad when people start having surgery to make themselves bigger. Marie did it the natural way. The Raymond season premiere, CBS Monday. Back to the sold-out Orange Bowl. And State started to move early on his first possession. Here is the punt by Pat Stitches. Watch number three, middle of your screen. Ron Graham, his feet and the ball are both over the end line. It's like a plane of glass. If that breaks it, you bring it back to the turn. Back to live action. Miami did nothing on his first possession. They slammed the door on the Canes, did the Penn State defenders. James Jackson is the runner. He's taken over for Edger and James. He's actually faster than... Edger and James, who's starring already for the Indianapolis Colts as a rookie. Jackson came in at 195. He's built up to 220, and his coach says he's faster than when he came in. Now, he, was, he was fun to talk to yesterday. He said he got bigger, 210, 215, 220, and to his astonishment, he got quicker. And his, uh, his teammates say he gets faster on game day, James Jackson. Second and seven. Here's Kelly throwing on the run. He's got too much on it for his fullback, Will McPartland. Kelly's pass. And so we go incomplete. Second down and third down and seven comes up. Incomplete. Want to have the best tailgate party in the lot? Get free shipping on all of your favorite team gear, grills, chairs, flags, and more. Go to CBSSportsLine.com or on America Online, enter keyword CBS Sports Line. for two throwing the ball. There's LeVar Arrington. He's here, he's there, he's everywhere. They line him up all over the field. Throw down, they're shooting and it's intercepted. Picked off by Derek Fox, the strong safety for Penn State. Looking for blockers and he's got some. Inside the 25, he loses the ball. And it's picked up by a teammate. Finally Santana Moss makes the tackle. That play was caused entirely by the
a throw and a catch. The ball is taken in by the quick Eddie Drummond coming off the flank and down to the 20-yard line. Leonard Myers knocks him down a gain of seven on the play. Thompson did a great job understanding blitz coverage. Drummond made the adjustment. He ran a quick slant. Top of the screen on the right. One, two, three steps. Slant. Get rid of the football. That's a great job by the quarterback. And especially Drummond holding the ball as he gets jolted.
to help you overcome your cravings. Don't hesitate for a second. Nicorette gum helps you fight your cravings, your habit, your way. You can do it. Nicorette can help. One question aroused fierce passions for centuries. What's for dinner? <laughs> Until the day a great mediator appeared. The new Maytag Gemini. An amazing two-in-one range that allowed them to cook two different foods at two different temperatures for one complete meal. International superstar, murdered. It's San Francisco's highest profile case ever. But that's nothing. Don and Yasmin are moving in together. Oh. There are some bridges. She's irritable. You just don't cross. I hate you. The Nash season premiere, CBS Friday. We're back to the Orange Bowl. A 32-yard field goal by... Travis Forney gives the Nittany Lions a 3-0 lead. And again, a good kickoff by Forney forces, forces a touchback. We had a chance to sit down with Butch Davis and talk about his feelings on his quarterback, Kenny Kelly, playing baseball. from the standpoint because of the professional baseball experience. Everybody looked at that as a negative, right? You know, he missed some time in the summertime, but it, the flip side of it is is that he's played professionally for money, he's played in games with older players, and the poison of confidence was very, very evident in the Ohio State game. Miami finally breaks a semi-big play as James Jackson, the 220-pound eye back, comes shooting up the middle and comes across the 25-yard line out to the 27th. Knocked down by the strong safety Derek Fox, who had the interception that led to the only points of this game so far. Penn State only traveled 10 yards in seven plays, Mike, before they kicked that field goal. Yeah, that's two consecutive series where the Miami defense has come up huge. They could very easily be down 14-0 instead of only 3-0. Second down and three. Back to Jackson, fighting off tackle. He advances the ball close to the 30-yard line where he needed to go to get the first down. Appears to be just short of it. A small but hard-hitting cornerback, number 19, Anthony King, was the first guy to get it. Yeah, there are a lot of Smurfs out there today between King and Macklin on the Penn State side. And when we sat down with Santana Bosch yesterday, Don, you know, he's listed at 5'8". I think that's generous. And he's big time as far as speed. Moss a legitimate 4'3". He's the wideout. He averages 27 yards a catch early in the season, Santana Moss. Jackson turning up. Well defended by the middle backer, Brandon Short. Makes the knockdown. And there's a loss of about a yard on the play. One thing I've noticed watching the tape of Penn State is the one thing you can do with Arrington is cut him low. Look at McCartland, the fullback. He might hold him a little bit, but that's where you get LeVar. He doesn't protect the knees particularly well. Almost a tackle. <laughs> I'm going to put him down for one of these official stats. A high punt hit downfield. Kenny Watson comes up on it, lets it take a hop, and it rolls back at the Hurricanes, and they down the ball at the 48-yard line of Penn State. CBS gets your motor running for a wild season premiere. Kevin James, Leah Romini, and Jerry Stiller are back and riding high on the season premiere of King of Queens. Monday at 8, 7 Central on CBS, America's most watched network. commercial they got a hit on their hands man with a Harley he can't ride <laughs> good play fake they got the second quarterback in Richard Casey throws and completes it there is a penalty marker fired in by the referee in the Penn State backfield gets the ball out to number eight running back Eric McCoo for a 10-yard gain but looks like it's coming back hey Don in the open we talked about when Casey gets in the game they up tempo it's like fast break football and that's exactly what you're going to see right now
Holding call against the Nittany Lions. That's him way back. There's Richard Casey. He is a senior, but he's got another year of eligibility. He was a first team All American out of Hoboken, New Jersey. Frank Sinatra's hometown. Comes in averaging 71% of his passes completed, Mike. Two for touchdowns, no interceptions. Good runner, but not so far this year. Only 2.4 a carry, but he can break it. Up there, Harry uses his great feet to get away. They had him and lost him. And look at Casey in the open field. Tremendous play by Bumble. now he loses the ball. Miami's got it. <laughs> this is wild. Hey Don, that's a microcosm of a shard case for all in one play. It really is. Now watch what happens. The wonderful physical ability. Look at Webster, 52 comes clean. Only a great athlete twists out of all that. He gets up the field, he gets 10 yards. Look how low he carries the football. I noticed it on tape. It gets stripped by number 20 right there. The strong safety, Edward Reed, and recovered by Miami. Look how low he carries the football. You can't do that. You gotta put it away. Myers tackles high. Here comes the strip by number 20, Reed. Big play by Miami. Reed doing some damage. You remember his blitz in the sack earlier of uh, Kevin Thompson. So Miami with a turnover gets the ball on the Penn State side of the field. High ball thrown downfield and it's picked off. David Macklin goes up. So a horrendous early performance by the sophomore quarterback Kenny Kelly throwing two interceptions with 3.39 to play in the first quarter. And a big break for the Hurricanes is quickly negated as Kelly throws the intercept. Yeah, I, I contend that I don't care how talented you are. If you're in your third start, you still have a lot to learn. Play action, he's trying to get the, the ball down the field. Macklin's got it well covered. The ball's locally on the throne. I think the, the, the Miami people feel that because he passed the test at Ohio State, he'd be okay the rest of the year. But with a guy with three starts, you've got to take the good with the bad. Light rain falling at the orange ball. Temperature in the high 80s.
tastes better. We've heard your complaints about changing your oil filter, trying to grip that slippery filter. That's why Fram, America's number one filter, now has Sure Grip, a rough texture top for easy gripping and installing. It makes changing your oil filter a lot easier. Select road. Validating tires. With BF Goodrich tires, it's any road you choose. BF Goodrich tires take control. There are only about a hundred dentists in Zimbabwe and around 13 million people. I'm a dental therapist here. I was taught by the health volunteers overseas. They brought the Crest education materials to teach us new techniques. What I learned, I take to the villages. Now, I'm inspired to help keep teeth healthy because we do smile a lot in Zimbabwe. number one action drama takes you to the most dangerous place on earth. I'm on them. The season premiere of Shag, CBS Tuesday. The most original show of the season. Now and again, CBS Friday. Tonight in primetime, the Home Depot College football is back with a split national spectacular. Many of you will see T. Martin power the defending champion volunteers of Tennessee into the swamp to battle Steve Spurrier's Florida Gators. Or the Michigan Wolverines look to deliver some Big Ten payback to the Syracuse Orangemen. Check your local listings. Don Cricky with Mike Mayock. Orange Bowl in Miami. Here's a run blitz again, and it's knocked down, it knocks down the runner. Harris had nowhere to go on that play. A first down carry. He's knocked down for a loss of a yard. Dan Morgan was being attended to Mike a bit ago. The back of his right leg was bothered. Left leg. Yeah, he's grabbing the left hamstring. But then when they got up, they also did a couple tests like there could be a knee problem too. And, and he's a guy we talked about depth or lack thereof for Miami at, up top. They can't afford to lose him. And there's also somebody down the field right now. That's, that's Michael Smith. So that's two of their three starting linebackers, Don. And they're very thin at linebacker. Michael Smith plays the strong outside linebacker. Edge of your screen, number 59. Here comes the pull by Greg Ransom. He, great block. That is a great shot right on his hip. That was a clean shot. Michael Smith got taken down by number 55, Greg Ransom, and I don't know what happened there. In a lot of distress, though, is Michael Smith. 242 left to go in the first quarter. Nittany Lions still leading on a field goal. We argue all the time as to who has the better lawn. They're all envious of my Scott lawn. Definitely. <laughs> Scott does it for all three of us. Now, during the summer, my grass takes a beating. A heavy sun, droughts. What the grass needs is turf builder. Uh, about September, I put on a turf builder. It pumps it up. It rejuvenates it. Gives it that extra punch for the roots. you got to feed it. Beautiful That's beautiful lawn. lawn. Look at that. Look at thick. Nice and green. It's as thick as plush. Fall is the best time of year to put down Scott's turf builder. You're sweating like crazy. You got TV cameras all over you. The last thing you want is this white puppy thing running down your arm. It's just rude. We asked some of the hottest pros under the sun to switch antiperspirants. The green visible solid? What's that? I would assume it goes on clear, but I'm not sure I believe that. When your body heats up, the green invisible solid releases extra protection with a clear difference. Right there. You see there's no white stuff? The harder I work, the harder it works. No flaking, no funk, no Klingons. Degree Invisible Solid. Works hard, but never shows. After the match, there's a ton of girls. Gotta be cool. Watch CBS Premier Week, then tell us what you think of the CBS shows. Log on to America Online, keyword CBS, and take the viewer input poll. The address is CBS. Bad news, good news for the Miami Hurricanes. Dan Morgan, who was shaken up earlier at linebacker, is back in the game, but then Michael Smith goes out. There's Morgan, 44. And Smith was not moving his right leg as he was helped from the field. On the other side. On second down, Casey takes a look. Back to the near side. Can they run him down? Not until he gets about nine yards down the field on second down and 11. Great coverage in the Miami secondary. The play action fooled nobody. And there's that natural ability again of Rashard Casey. Short play action for the tailback. Omar Easy, nothing front side, so he just tucks it. He's running a little bit low with it again. I hate to see that. Get out of bounds. 
Don't take the hit. Good job. Total yards for Penn State, 51. Miami has only five yards offense so far. Third down. Throw and a catch. And a first down for the Nittany Lions down to the 47-yard line of Miami. Seven-yard gain on the throw to Eddie Drummond. They've got to find ways to get the football in Eddie Drummond's hand. Here it's a little delay across the middle. Inside guy goes out. Drummond cuts back underneath Danny Morgan in between Nate Webster. Catches the football. There's a guy with 4 3 40 speed. They want to get him running with the football as opposed to just standing there. Right there. Bad spacing with his tight end, Tony Stork. Renshaw. Very fast at the top of your screen for Penn State. On first down. Casey looks near side. Swings it out. Aaron Harris eludes a tackler. Takes one, two, three, and then four shots. It's not to get him down. He's under at the 45-yard line. Nate Webster, who really sacrifices his body out there for the Hurricanes, credited with the tackle. Michael Smith on the sidelines. And Don, we just got the report from the bench. A right knee sprain returned doubtful. That means Rod Mack is going to have to step it up. He's a seasoned veteran for Miami. He's played a lot of football games. But after that, they've got nothing done. Just a lot of talented young guys with no game experience. Rod, Rod Mack, he was the starting middle linebacker two years ago. He had knee and ankle surgery. So they had injuries in the linebacker court. Yeah, this is going to be a game of attrition. In the final minute of the first quarter, Casey called his own number as a quarterback draw. But Miami's defense is too quick. Nate Webster, who's been in on tackle after tackle for the game, makes the stop on Casey. A loss on the play. Matt Sweeney down tackle and Nate Webster unblockable so far. Watch what happens. One, two, look at that. Center tries to hold Sweeney. That was Spano. He can't even hold him. Runs right through it. The tackle. Don, you alluded to it earlier. The Penn State offensive line has been suspect so far this season. They feel they can attack Penn State's offensive line up the middle. Dan Morgan out again now. This changes the defense. This is a gambling defense. Casey gets time. Here's it out. He's got a guy wide open. Shoffy Fields is in the end zone, and Penn State has the first touchdown of the day on a 50-yard scoring play. And the Nittany Lions extend to a 9 nothing lead with the extra point coming up. Complete breakdown. Yeah, they had the dime package in the game, and there was a busted coverage. It was either the corner that should have stayed with them or the safety that didn't show up over top. Ninth play of 50 or more yards this year for Penn State. Top of your screen. It's just a streak pattern. Myers lets him go, expecting help over the top. Popovich runs with the number two guy. And number 23, James Lewis, never showed up. Critical busted assignment right there. And Rashard Casey pumped up. Vindication. Forney hits the point after. And so the quick strike, big play offense to the Nittany Lions gives them a 10 to nothing lead as the first quarter runs out. At the end of the first quarter of the score, Penn State 10 and Miami nothing. We'll be right back after this message and a word from your local station. If you were the last person left on Earth, would you still do sit-ups? Would you diet if you gained a few pounds? What if you discovered there was one other person left on Earth with you? Would you like to change your answers? Introducing the all-new 2000 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Nicely equipped at 17.7. Because you're not alone. We've heard your complaints about changing your oil filter, trying to grip that slippery filter. That's why Fram, America's number one filter, now has Sure Grip, a rough textured top for easy gripping and installing. It makes changing your oil filter a lot easier. This is the Big New Yorker pizza from Pizza Hut. Now, this is what pizza's supposed to be. Look at this thing. 16 inches of real street corner pizza dripping with over a pound of cheese. And now it's just $8.99. So if you want to feed a lot of big mouths without taking a big hit in the wallet, try the Big New Yorker from Pizza Hut. Try it already. Wake up to the all-new early show with Brian Gumbel and Jane Clayson, coming November 1st.
25th anniversary and you return home to your loving wife empty-handed, you're screwed. Eyewitness News, now weekdays at 5 a.m. Real people, real news. Thank you. We're back to the Orange Bowl, the start of the second quarter. Joe Paterno said we'll find out today how good we are. He likes what he's finding out early after a quarter. Penn State leads 10-0. Andre King for Miami. Over the top, out to the 25-yard line. Rain falling at the Orange Bowl. It makes it all the more difficult for the passing game, but that might be, Mike, what uh, Miami needs now from Kenny Kelly, who's been intercepted twice. Yeah, this is a worst-case scenario for Miami. They wanted to come in, ball control, run the football, play-action pass. Now, all of a sudden, you're down 10-0 early in the game, and Kenny Kelly's going to have to step up and play. I believe Vince Lombardi called it a baptism by fire. And it's been that or worse. Uh, 0 for 4 throwing the ball. Actually, he's completed 2 to Penn State. He's been intercepted twice. So he's 50%. Yeah. The wrong way. And here is Kelly going to the run. Looks for Jackson. And Penn State shuts it down. Mac Morrison, 31. The undersung linebacker who has the toughest linebacker position. He's got to cover the tight end. Plays the strong backer. You know, I'm happy you said that, Don. I, you know, Arrington, Brandon Short gets so much publicity, and this kid, Mac Morrison, is one of the most solid linebackers in the country. Last possession for Penn State. They went 79 yards in eight plays, but the final 50 coming on the touchdown throw. And uh, Shard Casey on that drive was three for three for 59 yards throwing the ball. Second and nine, they go right back to the off tackle run. Now two guys start up downfield. Uh-oh, look, Jackson's down now. James Jackson, if he has to leave the game, they have to go to a true freshman. Miami hasn't played in two weeks. Two weeks ago, they were a winner over Ohio State in their opening game of the season over Ohio State. Then they beat Florida A&M two weeks ago. But in the Ohio State game, they lost their backup tailback. Najee Davenport for the season, and now they have James Jackson, a junior, their prime runner. Behind him are two true freshmen. That looked like Davenport's elbow comes down real hard on the turf right there, and he turns over at a funny angle. On top of it, to add insult, insult to injury, literally, we've got a 15-yard penalty assessed for unnecessary roughness against the University of Miami. Santana Moss, one of the wide receivers for the Hurricanes, started up downfield with a cornerback, David Macklin, and the call was against Miami, so it's going from bad to worst. Yeah. Davenport backed up by, excuse me, Jackson backed up by two true freshman running backs, Jarrett Payton, son of Walter, and Clinton Portis. Portis is in the game now out of Gainesville, Florida. He was a 2,000-yard high school rusher last year. Butch Davis... Seeing it all go against his team. He's lost his starting linebacker, maybe two of them for the day. Two outside backers, both injured. Watch Santana Moss working on the All-American. He's got a hold of the face mask, doesn't let go, keeps pulling, pulls him all the way down. Folks, you can almost be disqualified for that right there. That's a 15-yard flagrant foul, should have been called, and Santana, you got to keep your poise. You want to get your team beat. That's a good way to start. So now it is third and 21 for the run. And while we have a moment, let's go to New York and update who's Tim Randall. Yeah. All right, Don, we have a surprise at Camp Randall Stadium. Cincinnati 2-9 and nine a year ago under Rick Minter. A 51-yard run by Robert Cooper. He has 78 yards on the ground. Ron Dane, 11 for 64 yards. Remember, Penn State does not play Wisconsin this year. Advantage Nittany Lions in the Big Ten. Back to Don. And here at the Orange Bowl, Miami comes up short again and has to punt the ball. Ball hit end over end downfield. Kenny Watson takes a look at it. And he'll let it roll downfield. It'll be a, a big punt for the Hurricanes inside the 30-yard line. 52-yard punt and no return. We'll return to the Orange Bowl right after these messages and a word from your local station. The address is CVS. The King of Queens is headed your way.
America, Sam Katz has proposed the best plans to improve Philadelphia's public schools, protect our children and neighborhoods from drugs and crime, create jobs and economic growth, and work to lower taxes. It's why Sam Katz has been given the top marks in his campaign, and why Katz has been called the best person to follow at Rendell. Sam Katz, the best choice for mayor. V6 engine in its class. The most interior space in its class. Amenities that would surprise you in any class. For those seeking refuge from mediocrity and compromise, we offer the Sanctuary. Presenting the all-new Infinity I-30. It's all the best thinking. Eyewitness News, now weekdays at 5 a.m. Real people, real news. State defense has held the Hurricanes of Miami to a total offense of 11 yards. Haynes haven't even been near a long field goal try. The New Lions lead it 10 0. Evan Thompson back in the quarterback hands off and the carry to the 31 yard line. Morgan and back. Coming up on the EXA Halftime Report, Tim Brando and Spencer Tillman bring you up to date on all the scores and highlights, and they'll preview tonight's blockbuster games. Number two, Tennessee versus number four, Florida, as well as number six, Michigan versus Syracuse. That's all coming up on the EXA Halftime Report. Jackson on the bench. They were retaping the ankle. Apparently, he will come back to play. Thompson gets time. Triggers a beautiful throw. Nice tight spiral. He delivers it low for 12-yard gain out to the 42-yard line to Shoffy Fields. Remember the last time Shoffy caught a ball in this game, it was for 50 yards and a touchdown as he was left uncovered. Now you're really getting to see the two-quarterback system at work. Watch Fields use his speed. It's just a crossing route. Leonard Myers is a man-to-man, -man, not tight at all. I don't understand that. If Myers is going to cross the field, he's got to be on top of him. And Myers has been around long enough to know better. Yard gain on the plate for a first down out to the 42 yard line. Another runner in the game. Larry Johnson, his dad's one of the assistant coaches. He doesn't get much though as he tries to go wide to the right side of the Miami defense. He's knocked down. Larry Johnson, a sophomore from State College. Father Larry works with the special teams. His brother, Tony Johnson, some think is the best high school football player in the state of Pennsylvania, and he's not sure he wants to go to Penn State because he didn't want to compete with his brother. He, too, is a running back. That doesn't surprise you, do you? A little sibling rivalry? Larry Johnson's a tough runner, though. Wow. We talk about total domination. There it is right there. Second and 11. Good play fake. Thompson takes a look. Breaks containment, then he's sacked at the 40-yard line. Third sack of the game for the Miami defense. Damian Lewis, who could be the next in the great line of Miami defensive lineman, number 92. Some had him rated the number one defensive lineman in the country. Coming out of high school in Sulphur Springs, Texas, he's a redshirt junior. Tremendous player. This is one of those coverage sacks. Great job in the defensive secondary. It's not there. Thompson's going to try to make something of it. Damian Lewis showing great speed coming back to make the play. Inside pass rusher Lewis, and he already has four sacks in less than two and a half games. Third down. Thompson needs 12 on the throw. They get him again as they try to strip the ball. The Canes coming with a vengeance now, just blowing through the offensive blockers of the Penn State Lions. Quincy Hips is a man who's credited with the sack number 90. Great job here getting up the field. Defensive end Jamal Green puts the initial heat on him, forces their 55, pushes him out of the pocket. Great play, great series by that Miami defense. Here's Santana Moss looking to break containment. He cannot. Well covered by the Nittany Lions special teams. And the Hurricanes take over the ball inside their 30-yard line. 
35 yard punt, but only a two yard return. Haynes try again on offense, and we come back to the Orange Bowl. Take a shot. 
I don't think they're going to run away from 86. <laughs> Man, what a player. Arrington's been quiet. He hadn't done much. He did have that one good play early. Here's a penalty marker, and it's thrown before the snap. But Arrington is a great college football player, number 11 there. Tony said he's, uh, he's as good as he thinks he is. He thinks he's terrific. On the offense, five yards. It'll be first and 15. Who do you think I think I am? Now, he's a great football player. Once again, Butch Davis has got to be frustrated right here. Butch, the son of a high school coach in Oklahoma, played collegiately at Arkansas, started teaching football, he said, on the high school level. As a high school coach for six years, he said, at that level, you really have to teach football because you can't recruit and you can't draft. <laughs> You've got to make guys in the neighborhood better. Yeah, he's one of those gym rats, though. I mean, his dad was a high school coach at Bixby High School in Oklahoma for 30 years, and I can vouch. My dad was a high school coach for 30 years, and I can tell you, you're breaking down game film by the time yeah. you're 10 years old. And the quarterback for the Miami Hurricanes, Kenny Kelly, his dad, a high school coach at Plant City. Kenny said he retired when Kenny came into college. Boy, this guy in high school is everything. He was, you name the game, he could play it. He was. All state in four sports in Florida, Tampa Catholic High School. Baseball, basketball, football, and track and field are recruiting for the track team for the state championships. And he won it with a long jump of over 23 feet. And had no trouble yeah, getting he, a date to the senior pro. He hasn't even practiced it. <laughs> he just has it. But not today. This Penn State defense has it. Kelly looks. Here comes the rush. They oh. nail him for a huge loss. This is Perpacus. His fifth sack of the season. A like, loss of 12. Yeah, like Mac Morrison, another one of those unsung heroes. Just a solid football player. 37, top of your screen. Gets past the block of Hall. McPartland can't get to him. And there is, once again, a rookie mistake. You can't take the sack here. Two bad plays in a row have taken him completely out of field goal position. Kenny Kelly's got to step up in that situation instead of back. They started this drive at the 34 of Penn State after the fumble punt by the Nittany Lions. Now they have it second and 26. Run. Kelly goes to the run. Jackson straight ahead, not for very much. Got about three yards to the 46-yard line. You think the faithful here like that play call? By well, the way, they're sitting back in the coverage. They're waiting for Kelly to throw the deep ball. Jackson has only 12 yards rushing on nine carries. Yeah, they have completely stuffed the Miami rush game. And, and Don, what happens is that's the basis of their whole, whole offensive attack. If they can't run the ball, then play action means nothing. Well, that is the truth. They've got to get something going on the ground. The Canes with virtually no offense. It's third about 30, and I guarantee you Bush has none of those plays on his chart. Kelly from the shotgun. Running out of time. Buys some time with his feet. Here comes Kirpikas. He's picked off. Long ball to the end zone. Tipped away from Santana Moss. Derek Fox knocked it away. Moss, who has a tremendous speed and leaping ability, waiting to go up for it. But Fox makes another big play. The senior, strong safety from Canton, Ohio. Fox got a little lazy here. He had the deep pass covered. When a quarterback scrambles, you got to get depth. Good job by Kelly trying to make a play, getting it to his big play guy. Now you've got two guys with 40-inch vertical leap. Look at Moss get up there, but Fox, no slouch himself, makes the play. Canes have to punt, angling to the near sideline. And we'll see where they mark it with 6, 631 to play in the first half. We'll take over will the Penn State Nittany Lions at their 21. You can buy a Gateway Essential PC for $899. Or you can buy a PC from a bargain basement company for $499. Then add a monitor, lots of software, 24-7 tech support, a year on the internet, and end up paying over $1,200. With Gateway, you'll get all that, and you still end up paying $899. Which one is the real bargain? Call 1-800-GATEWAY for a Gateway Essential PC with an Intel Celeron processor. Twenty-eight different children from twenty-eight different families. 
with 28 different futures, whose parents all share the need for help making informed decisions on what matters most, their health, their finances, their future. One name, Aetna, for what matters most. was lost, now is found. I thought these were extinct. That's what they said about the coelacanth. A full-size bear, just one of over 40 features now standard on the new Jetta. It's a prehistoric fish. Disappeared over 10,000 years ago, and they caught one off the coast of Madagascar. Coelacanth. When you just want to jump and show, nothing feels like country. Join Shania Twain, Dixie Chicks, Tim McGraw, and Faith Hill performing live. Woo! Vince Gill hosts the CMA's live CBS Wednesday. A hot sunny day has turned in now to a rainy day in South Florida. Rain falling doesn't bother Coach Joe Paterno. As his Nittany Lions have dominated, leading 10 0. Miami with a total offense of minus two yards because of the sacks. Here comes Aaron Harris. Blocky runner at 5'11, 231, but still can get outside. Well, not exactly the fun in guns, but let's take a look at our Sun America virtual playbook. Penn State has run nine reverses in three games this year. Number two, Shawfee Fields has been the main recipient. What they do, shades of Steve Spurrier, if he goes in cross motion, they snap the ball right there, quarterback hands off, and it turns into a sweep. At that point, Shawfee's just using that 4-3 speed and taking off, and Steve Spurrier and Joe Paterno have had a great relationship over the last few years, and I think, Don, he's stealing right out of that playbook. Why not? It works. Ralphie Fields has run the ball four times this year for almost 29 yards of carry. Eric McCoo is hit from behind. Breaks free. There could be more turnovers, though, Mike, because this rain of wet ball, a lot of humidity anyway. And there's a gain of virtually no yards. Webster was on the stop of Eric McCoo, a sophomore from Red Bank, New Jersey, who uh, was maybe regarded as at least one of the top three running backs in the country when he came out of Red Bank High School. Yeah, Penn State, that's redundant. I mean, they're all in the top three. You got a guy averaging 9-5 to carry. Omar Easy doesn't see the field. Davis said they won't have any thousand-yard rushes because they got too many good guys. Nobody will get enough carries. Here's the throw downfield and almost pick. A lot of pressure on the quarterback, Kevin Thompson. Kevin Thompson's pass. Great pressure on that. Kevin Thompson's got to be careful. You can't throw the football into coverage in a situation like that. Either take the sack or throw it away. Mack from the outside, 51. Joseph from the inside. And there comes the blitzing. Nate Webster. Take the sack or throw it away, but don't throw it up for grabs. Thompson, 6'5". Stands a retired police officer in Damascus, Maryland. Third down. Just 
first ball, the All-American tight end for Miami, Bubba Franks. But so what? First completion of the game for Kenny Kelly, a gain of three yards. And they get the, the mock cheer from the stands there for the first completion. Bubba Franks is 6'6", 260. NFL can't wait for him to come out. There's Kelly, one for seven. The two to the Penn State defensive back. Intercepted twice. They talk about his confidence and his leadership. They say he won't get down when things go wrong. They need him now more than ever. Here is a handoff. Jackson turning wide, turning up, breaking it ahead. Jackson's ahead for a gain of eight yards and a first down for the Hurricane. James Boyd, the free safety, got him down for Penn State. This is vintage James Jackson. Watch him after the block bounce this thing to the outside. McPartland, the fullback, gets the block on 96. Arrington gets hooked inside. Look at the cut right there away from Brandon Short. That's a big-time run right there by James Jackson. It advances the ball out to the 47-yard line. Pitch back to Jackson, looking for blockers. Gets some room. Big hit. Strong safety, Derek Fox. He is a player, Derek Fox. Makes the shoulder block tackle and knocked down for a gain of three yards. It'll be second down and seven. You know, Fox's uncle was one of my favorite safeties. When I was a safety at Boston College, his uncle Tim was the starting safety for the New England Patriots. That's right. First round for F. Joyce. You're right, Ohio State. exactly. He's gotten counsel both from his uncle and also from former Penn State great Mike Zordich, who played for several years in the NFL. More than several. <laughs> Mike was a career guy. Too smart to cut him even when he lost speed. Kelly buys time, fires on the run. Look at that throw. That's what Kenny Kelly can do, and he's on his game. Santana Moss coming off the flank, turning out, 16-yard gain and a first down. And a big grin right there from Kenny Kelly. I think a little pressure has been relieved. This is a, this showcases his ability right here. Play action, he gets outside on Arrington, who bit on the play action. Look at the arm strength, rolling out to his right, hitting Moss right on the number six. Two big things, Arrington gets blocked by number 62, Richard Mercier, who lost his helmet, and great arm strength by Kenny Kelly. He's been a tremendous player from age nine when he was the best Pop Warner League player in America. Led his team to the national championship, Kenny Kelly. Jackson runs. Time becoming a factor now. Down to 337 and running in the second quarter. Watch Arrington on the previous play here, taking on Mercier. Look, at right at the point of attack, there comes the helmet. Mercier, the Canadian, doesn't know whether to go get the helmet or chase after the play. <laughs> This is Helmet left his shoulder. That's good. Second down. Gaines needs six. Rain falling. They're down by ten. Kelly with a fastball comes in low. He's a center fielder in that Tampa Bay Devil Rays minor league operation is Kenny Kelly. We keep talking about the good and the bad. We saw the good a couple of plays ago. That was the bad. Wide open, get rid of the football, throw it low and outside, not inside, where a Penn State defender has a chance to make the play. Kelly was so good young when he was 12 years old. His dad had him working with the varsity at Plant City High School. He was thrown to their wide receivers. He was the best quarterback. <laughs> Wasn't eligible then. He was in grammar school. Canes are 0 for 5 on third down. Six. Kelly throws. He gets Bubba Franks, who loses the ball. What do you do here now, Mike? Fourth down, the 32-yard line. He's got Crossland coming in the game. You know, that was a bad pass, bad catch. You got to make that play. Butch is going to take time and think about it here. All right? What do we got? Three minutes left on down 10. Ball's on about the 31-yard line. Crossland has struggled with his field goals this season. Back in a moment. Used to be, if I want something done right, I called me. It worked. 
until I tried to quit smoking. I needed more than me. I got Nicorette. Nicorette helped me two ways. I used it on a regular schedule to help prevent my cravings. And for unexpected cravings, I was ready with an extra piece. I used to be a slave to cigarettes. Nicorette helped me hang on, helped me win. Now that I'm nicotine free, I gotta tell you, it feels good to win. Now Nicorette is available in mint. What a refreshing choice. You can do it. Nicorette can help. Hi, I'm Bob Vila. You know, your home is your sanctuary. The one place you and your children should feel safe. But there can be dangers, too. And some of them are not so obvious. Improperly wired outlets that can electrocute. Water coolers that can burn. Household cleaners that can kill. Lead paint that can poison. To find out about them, call HUD. For a free brochure on HUD's healthy homes and FHA loans, just call. HUD and FHA are on your side. Get your motor running for the wild season premiere. There was a breeze blowing up my shorts that felt like Christmas. The King of Queens premiere CBS Monday. Butch Davis just gave his Canes the calls. Go for it on fourth down. Ball positioned at the 31-yard line, almost the 32 of Penn State. They need six. I think they've got to get Kenny Kelly out on the edge with a chance to run or throw the football. Rain falling. Blitzer's coming. Kelly steps in. He's on the run. Look at that move. But Kelly is taken down. No, he's not. He breaks the tackle, and he's inside the 15-yard line. He's not done until he's down to the 7. Pulling rabbits out of hats. 18 yards. He was done. Fumble, Penn State. Penn State has the ball. After the 18-yard run, a spectacular play. <laughs> Brandon Short had him, and he's on his way down, and he got free. We have seen both young quarterbacks make spectacular plays, only to ha have it end up in catastrophe. Watch the play getting away from Brandon Short right here. That's got to be a tackle. Great leg strength gets away from another tackle. Hold on to the football. There it comes. Big time hit at the end of the play by Fox. Ball comes loose. And boy, is that a huge play by the Penn State defense. He really was carrying the ball rather loosely. Look at Butch Davis. <laughs> Experience all the emotions in one run by your quarterback. Kelly, though, Mike, will keep you on the edge of your seat. But he and Casey. Hand off. Ames again knocked down the runner Eric McCo for virtually no gain it'll be second down and 10 from the eight yard line tackler was Damian Lewis 92 there's Kelly getting some instruction on the sideline hold the ball look at the rain falling this is really working in Penn State's favor was uh, in the 90s here yesterday with very high humidity and then there's a front moving in from off the Gulf. But Don, when we drove over here at about 1230, it was 90 degrees and high humidity. So Penn State certainly getting a break. But the turnover count will build as this game goes on because there are knockout hitters out there and it's wet. Long ball downfield. Beautifully covered. Leonard Myers on the very fast Eddie Drummond. But Leonard can run himself. Hit him stride for stride. Yeah, that's great coverage on a guy that runs 4-3. And I give Joe Paterno credit there. He took the shot. If it's intercepted, it's just like a long punt. But what that does do is it stops the clock with two minutes left. Look at the coverage. A little push off, but they both did it. Good no call by the ref who's right on the play there. Good no call. Difference between Dr. Joe last night about how the game has changed in his 50 years on the sideline at Penn State. So videotape has made a big difference. It used to be you had to hire a coach away from somebody else to find out what they were doing. Now everybody has everything on videotape. They take it right off the satellite, too. Thompson, four for nine. Goes to the run. Harris, caught from behind, knocked down at the five-yard line. 153 to play. Got to get a timeout. Butch wants a timeout. There it goes. See, Joe allowed them by throwing the ball on second down, gave them an opportunity to stop the clock twice and only use one timeout. He's talking to Fran Ganner, his offensive coordinator. There's the, hand, the lay handoff. Great job from the inside out. You can't block number 92, Damian Lewis. Big time capability. Yeah, he is about in that unblockable category, and he's got a guy on the other side is the same way, Courtney Brown. Okay, what players? This Courtney Brown, 
Yeah. Courtney Brown's as good as there is in the country. I like what Butch Davis and Greg Schiano, the defensive coordinator for Miami, said yesterday regarding Damian Lewis. They talked about the legacy of great defensive tackles, the Warren Saps, Jerome Brown, Cortez Kennedy, but those guys didn't have to play till they were juniors. Yeah. Damian Lewis had to step in as a freshman, and he's just reaching his peak now. Greg Schiano, the young defensive coordinator for Miami, spent six years as an assistant at Penn State, then the last three years with the Chicago Bears. And he's really stepped up this defense. He comes with a mantra, attack, attack, attack. That's mantra. his game plan. I like that word, that mantra thing. Well, that's what he says. <laughs> Joe Paterno said, I hated to lose him when he left for the Bears. Fourth down. Pat Pigeon backed into his end zone for the Nittany Lions. See if they come after him. Why not? They're coming after him. Pigeon steps in and hits a beauty. A high spiral. Tough catch for Santana Moss, who makes it at the 38-yard line with 1.42 left to play in the half. 33-yard punt. No return. That's tough duty out there, Mike. Catching punts in the rain. You were there. Hey, I returned punts at Boston College, and I averaged six feet, two inches per return. I fake left, fake right, and <laughs> fell forward. That's it. That was the year that your 0-11, your 11th loss was in Japan. That's correct. The Japanese people thought we were undefeated because uh, they read from right to left. <laughs> 11, you had good guys in that team. Fred Smurlis. Freddie Smurlis, all pro, as you know, for the Buffalo Bills for years. We had some talent, but uh, I think we were lacking in coaching that particular year. Kelly swings it out. Jackson gets the ball and somehow gets downfield. He's on the way. He's inside the 20 and gets out of bounds. So... They save a timeout. 132 left. LeVar Arrington ran him down, but he did it 21 yards downfield. That's a great call by Butch Davis. I thought Richard Mercier, number 62, almost had a hole. He's going to get out in front of Jackson on the screen. 62, Mercier's going to slide. Watch him right there. Look at him. He's still holding on to Mac Morrison. Look, he pulled him down from behind. The play wasn't called. Good hustle by Arrington. So the Canes trying to get on the board. Rain falling, 1.32 to go in the half. Kelly gets a little time, buys some more, takes a look. Off he goes and heads for the sideline and smartly dances out of bounds. And stops the clock, he gets flattened over there. Seven yard gain, but he does stop the clock with 1.23 to go. A lot of positive things happening for the Hurricanes offensively right now, these last two series. Kenny Kelly's got to keep the momentum going, and Don, it's critical they get on the scoreboard before halftime. Really is. They'll be right back in the game. It's 10 nothing. Second half is going to be wild because there's going to be turnovers <laughs> and crazy things happening in the rain. Yeah, between the rain and these young quarterbacks, all kinds of things are going to happen. Just like we like it. <laughs> Miami fans, they don't back off. Tonight in primetime, the Home Depot College Football is back with a split national spectacular. Many of you will see the defending national champions from Tennessee go into the swamp to battle the Florida Gators. Or the Michigan Wolverines look to deliver Big Ten payback to the Syracuse Orangemen who beat them last year at Ann Arbor. Check your local listings. A tremendous day of college football here on CBS. Yeah, I love that Tennessee-Florida game, Don. How about that, huh? The guys that play in Florida, not one of them has ever lost at the Swamp. And I think it's going to happen tonight. I think Tennessee beats Florida at the Swamp on their way to a possible second national championship. Well, if this weather moves up to Gainesville, it'll be a swamp. They're anticipating this weather up there. Coach Paterno hasn't lost a step. 72 years old. See, he outworks. More energy than anybody on the staff. <laughs> Asked if he's going to retire. said, what would I do? He said, I'd like to coach football. He doesn't like golf. A lot of speculation as to who would succeed him over the years. Fran Gannon, his offensive coordinator, has been the most logical guy, especially with Jerry Sandusky, his longtime defensive coordinator, retiring after this season. Second down. Canes need two. Challenging at the 10-yard line of Penn State. Now they take too long and lose five. to check the play clock. Substitution, 12 men on the field, on the offense, five yards. Every time they get close, they
they self-destruct offensively. A fumble, a penalty. Their place kicker, as you know, Mike, is only two for five so far this year. Andy Crossman, so they're a little wary about trying a field goal. They'd like to get in the end zone, obviously. Yeah, it's a little weird, Don. I mean, he's, he's one for four from 20 to 29 yards, and the guy's been consistently a top-notch kicker the last couple of years. It's all on Kelly now. They're going to be moving him around. And Penn State's going to be coming for him. Here they come. Kelly throws and makes the connection. They can't get out of bounds, though. The clock runs as the ball's advanced about four yards to the 12-yard line. That'll bring up third down and about four. This is critical down and distance right now. Third and four. Got to make a first down. They still have timeouts remaining. Butch Davis desperately looking for six instead of three. And off. They go to Jackson. And they try to catch uh, the Penn State Lions in an all-out pass rush. Wow. And they weren't buying. The free safety James Boyd makes the stop. I think Butch is probably a little concerned about what happened the last time he put it in Kenny Kelly's hands in a big situation. Tried to sneak a run in on them, and they're going to have to settle for the field goal attempt. Crossland, he was well worth the scholarship. Picks field goals, extra points, punts, kicks off, does it all. 29-yard attempt on the way, and he splits him. So the Canes get points late in the second quarter. 23 seconds left in the half. It's 10-3 Penn State. And then the Lions get the ball when Miami kicks off when we come back. with Mike Mayock. 23 seconds left to play in the first half in the rain. An array of mistakes and turnovers in the game. But it's a tight game in Miami which had no offense for virtually the first quarter and a half, Mike. Now gets some breaks and moves the ball some and does get points trailing the Nittany Lions 10 to 3. Yeah, and you might want to criticize Butch Davis for that conservative third down call, but I don't. I think he, he knew how important it was to get points on the board. He couldn't afford an interception or a fumble, so I think he opted for the conservative call to get the points on the board. Crossland kicks off, high spinning kick. Watson. He who hesitates, is he lost? Well, he's taken down to the 12-yard line. And so the Disney Lions, in their wisdom, will run it into the line and run out the first half. In the second quarter, Miami had minus two yards offense at one point. Now they're up to 87. Penn State is 124 yards. <laughs> He's the first guy you have to see. You know what? Kenny dropped the punt, and then he compounded it by coming out of the end zone. And you know that little Italian from Brooklyn's the first guy you're going to see on the way to the sideline. Thompson gingerly puts the ball down, and they'll head to the locker room with a lot more to come, and a lot more to come at halftime on this big day in college football on CBS. At the end of the first half with a score, the Nittany Lions of Penn State 10, Miami 3. And now we send it to Tim Brando in New York. Thanks. Coming up on the AXA Halftime Report, Spencer Tillman and I will have all of today's scores and highlights, plus we'll preview tonight's big primetime games after this message and a word from your local station. 
Amy Brenneman stars in Judging Amy special series premieres CBS Sunday. This certainly works in Joe Pa's favor. When they came out in Miami, they thought they probably had an advantage, but so far in their first four possessions, check this out, two punts, another punt, and then two interceptions. That's impressive for Joe Pa's perspective if you're looking at that. Yeah, Kelly's early problems obviously significant in this game. Now let's get you caught up on some other games going on today. It is a very busy Saturday. North Carolina State, Florida State, the story here, Sebastian Janikowski has four field goals of 30, 47, 22, and 31. At Dope Campbell, it's FSU. Nebraska struggles with Southern Miss today. 20 to 13, the final score in this one. Kyle Vanderbosch will sack Southern Miss quarterback Jeff Kelly, who fumbles. Julius Jackson recovers, scampers 16 yards for the touch. Now, Jeff Kelly, who was picked off four times today, does connect here with Joey Pinkston for an eight-yard strike. Southern Miss takes the lead. But, oh, here comes Nebraska's Willie Miller running the football. <laughs> That's power football. And he gets it in there for the touchdown. 20 to 13, the final score there. One must think, however, that this is a game that could cost Nebraska in terms of the BCS, particularly if Miami has a good second half. Yeah, what you're experiencing today if you're on Nebraska's team is the fallout from the D'Angelo Evans situation. The guy quit the team last week. He's back now, had a consultation with Frank Solich. Seems to be on the same page now, but that psychological effect obviously reflected in the outcome of the score today. Frank Solich sorely needs to uh, get rid of that four-loss season, the memory of that, with his fans back in Nebraska. Wisconsin and Cincinnati. Ron Dane apparently mm, uh, injured at halftime. They're checking his ankle in this one, but the story has been on the ground for Rick Minter's team of uh, Cincinnati. That's why they're having problems here. You want to take a look at this. That porous defense all of a sudden of Wisconsin, and then Robert Cooper's going to take this ball 51 yards, Tim, for a touchdown. This is something they got to get used to if they want to win this contest. They got to find a way to stop him. Meantime, Barry Alvarez is stressing because of that. Wisconsin running back and Heisman Trophy hopeful Ron Dane needs 206 yards on the day to become the Big Ten's all time leading rusher. Here, he takes the ball 29 yards for a first down. His longest run of the first half, but as you pointed out, he's got an injury he's nursing. Yeah, Barry can be in crutches. He doesn't want the great <laughs> Dane to be in crutches. Ohio and the Bobcats and the Buckeyes. Steve Balasari with a 15-yard strike. It's 10-10. Boy, can you hear the rumbling in Columbus if this score holds up? 
Central Michigan and Purdue, the Chippewas just unable to deal with Joe Tiller's fun and gun, and a cool breeze underway for Purdue. Boy, he's a good player. I'll tell you what, Drew Brees, he tosses a 20-yard touchdown pass here in the corner, finds his receiver. This guy can make every pass possible. That's a fine touch pass you see right there. Then Drew Brees once again, he's in the shotgun, finds the wide receiver. That's Chris Daniels for a four-yard touchdown pass. Boilers makers taking a 51-16 to lead. 320 yards, two touchdowns for Brees in the game. 17-7 Trojans over San Diego State at halftime. Carson Palmer, 13-yard strike to Antoine Harris in that ball game. Michigan State, Notre Dame. Wolverines haven't beat the Irish three times in a row since 61 through 63. The Duffy Dar he days, you might recall. <laughs> and Kentucky, Indiana, 44-35. Wildcats getting it done. Can they find a replacement for Tim Couch? Up off your seat. Get it done, Mr. All Bonner. indication seems they have. Watch Bonner here. He looks more like Couch on this one. This play, he finds Brad Pratt. That's touch on that ball there. 20-yard touchdown. Ties the game at 14. Then watch Bonner here. Five touchdown passes today, Tim. Finds James Whalen Jr. here. 27-yard touchdown strike. Made the score 21-14. Kentucky Wildcats went on to win this thing 44-35. I'm impressed with Bonner. Uh, Hal Mummy is really happy to have a quarterback that can take over for Couch and get it done the way he did. The Baylor Bears, uh, you think back to that tough loss a week ago on the last play of the game. Today they get the Boomer Sooner, and my Sooner friend is going to take care of the highlights. I thought you were going to do the Boomer Sooner <laughs> Scooter jack there. Second down, Sooner's quarterback is Josh Heupel. Josh Heupel, he finds his running back there, Josh Norman, all alone in seven yards for the touchdown. Sooner's quarterback, Heupel, he's at it again. Airs it out here, connects with the tight end. That's Matt Anderson, 22 yards later in the end zone for the touchdown. And all of a sudden, what's going on down in Norman? I'll tell you what, Stoops found a way to win. A really? Lot. Maryland and West Virginia, tough year for Don. They led 33 to nothing in this game. Lamont Jordan, 117 yards rushing, a touchdown. Mark Bolger also not a factor in this game. Well, coming up, we'll take a look at tonight's blockbuster matchups when the AXA halftime report continues. So you say you have a problem with your offense. Richard Casey, just fine. Shafi feels he's a star today, tonight, and tomorrow. We'll be back.
action continues tomorrow with an NFL doubleheader on CBS. In the early games, many will see Oakland take on Minnesota. Then later, most will see the Broncos go head-to-head -head with the Kansas City Chiefs. Check out local listings, and it all begins at noon Eastern. Did we tell you Craig James has work? <laughs> he joins Jim Nance, Randy Cross, and Jerry Glanville on the NFL Today. He's in withdrawals this afternoon. <laughs> Welcome back to the AXA Halftime Report. Coming up tonight, the Home Depot College Football on CBS plays under the lights of primetime. Last year, Tennessee used Florida as a stepping stone to the national title. After losing to the Gators in each of the five previous seasons, the Vols prevailed in Maxville in overtime. From 32 yards, that kick is no good! Tennessee wins! This year, the fourth-ranked Gators are defending their home turf against the second-ranked Vols. Florida boasts a 29-game home winning streak, the longest in the nation. And Tennessee hasn't won there since 1971. Tennessee quarterback T. Martin is used to big game pressure. The team captain is at the helm of the volunteer attack. He's joined by one of the most productive backs in Tennessee history. Jamal Lewis returns to the lineup after missing most of last season. The winner of this game has captured the national title in two of the last three years. In our other primetime matchup, the Syracuse Orangemen may have lost Donovan McNabb, but they still have the powerful option attack that gave Michigan fits last year. The sixth-ranked Wolverines are looking to avenge last season's loss, and to do it, they'll ride the A-train, rushing leader Anthony Thomas while super sophomore Drew Henson and steady senior Tom Brady will team up to lead the aerial attack. Now that Florida-Tennessee game coming up, you and I are at odds over that. I say Spurrier gets it done. Revenge and his being an underdog plays a role in this game. But you like Tennessee. Bottom line, then they stop the run. Can Florida stop the run? I don't think they can stop the run. That's the reason why I think that uh, Florida gets beat. But you got to yeah. also think about that defense. A lot of young faces on that defensive side of the ball if you Florida. As a matter of fact, they've given 800 yards of passing offense in just two games. I've seen worse, but with this young ball club, you can't give up that kind of time and that kind of yardage and expect to come away with the win in this contest. Syracuse, Michigan, what can we anticipate in that matchup? Well, the option game gives Michigan's fits. Uh, if you're Lloyd Carr, you're worried about that. You got to find a way to stop D. Brown. He is the key to that option offense for Syracuse. Remember this. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> Go Gators. That's going to happen tonight. All coming up at 8 o'clock Eastern time right here on CBS. Coming up, the second half of Penn State Miami. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the game. The Exa Halftime Report is sponsored by Exa Advisors. I'm from Axa Advisors. Axa Advisors. Yes. That's a new name. For thousands of financial professionals. Like me. And me. We help people take the long view. Achieve goals like college tuition. A secure retirement. A better life. It's all based on a relationship. A long-term relationship. And soon, very soon. We can start working. Together. Building your future. Exa Advisors. Building futures. At Burger King, we're always trying to make having your way better. Like this idea for a win-your-way college football game. Last chance! Run back a kickoff and win great prizes. Then we thought, why not just scratch and win? This week, Colorado and Washington face off, and you could win a million bucks, a Toyota RAV4, or the best-tasting prize of all, a delicious Whopper. Burger King, when you have it your way, it just tastes better. You know, I thought every deodorant worked the same. Until I tried longer-lasting, high-endurance from Old Spice. Nothing stronger at stopping odor longer. If you do this, or this, you're gonna sweat. But high-endurance will help you stop odor better than any other deodorant. It has a 24-hour formula that evaporates less quickly, so it lasts longer. Guaranteed. Or call 1-800-PROVE-IT and they'll buy you a stick of yours. Take the challenge. Because this is more than the best deodorant. It's the high-endurance of deodorants. So give this pure sports set a shot. Our family vacation started at Pep Boys when we met Larry. Handsome guy. Oh, yeah. Told us we could save on every size tire in stock. These were four for 99 bucks. You really did see some sights. And the 70,000-mile tires were four for 169. Wow. So what was the highlight? Uh, probably the 80,000-mile Futura SEs. Motor Trend says they deliver impressive acceleration and performance. All sizes four for 199. I know where I'm taking the kids this year. Pep Boys. Cars like us. People love us. 
Where you choose to go to college is an important decision. And the University of Miami has some distinct advantages. Private. Selective. Comprehensive. Challenging. Medium size. Research. Location. Scholarship. Diversity. Value. Take advantage of all we have to offer. The University of Miami. The Super Bowl champs, the Broncos, look to get back on track against Elvis Kubak and the Chiefs. The NFL on CBS, the way it should be. At the half, the rain continues to fall at the Orange Bowl in Miami. The weather front has moved in. There's a lot about to happen in the second half with the Lions leading the Canes 10-3. I'm from AXA Advisors. AXA Advisors, yes. That's a new name. For thousands of financial professionals, like me. And me. We help people take the long view, achieve goals like college tuition. A secure retirement. A better life. It's all based on a relationship, a long-term relationship. And soon, very soon, we can start working together. Building your future. AXA Advisors, building futures. She has small hands, so she can really get in your mouth. Our older patients have a lot of spunk. She's even gone as far as to floss them sometimes for me. I won the Crest Elderly Service Award for Excellence in Dentistry. It spurs you on to pay attention to the geriatric population. I've asked Cammy, are my teeth going to last me the rest of my life? And she said, oh, yes. I would give her the uh, Supreme Award for taking care of old men like me. Gene Littler also playing a six. Hit nicely, covering the flag all the way, right for it. A terrific shot.
teams coming back out onto the playing field as we take a look at the halftime stats. They're not overwhelming numbers. Brought to you by the U.S. Army. Okay, and you know what? We talked about rushing yards. Neither team has established the run and turnovers. And I really believe, A, turnovers, and B, the young quarterbacks are going to decide this football game. Miami will kick off to start the third quarter of play. Hurricanes kicking off to the open end of the field towards the Atlantic. The storm front's coming in off the west coast of Florida, off the Gulf of Mexico. Or Canada Blessings in South Florida, dodging Floyd. A lot of heroism down here, though, like in North Florida, those Navy divers going into the water in tumultuous seas off Jacksonville. What heroes and saving eight men who had been on a tug that went down. Here's the kickoff. Hit downfield, and Kenny Watson from the two-yard line for the Nittany Lions. Breaks it. Moves to the outside, trying to get by the kicker. He does, and they finally get him from behind, but a brilliant return. Well, that's coaching when you got the open lane set up by all that blocking in front of him, and Watson used every one of them, Mike. Hey, that's from the outhouse to the penthouse right there. Remember, Watson in the first half dropped the punt and returned a cook kickoff he shouldn't have. Now he does a great job setting up his blocks, cutting back. Look at 17 Crossland, the kicker. He's going to try and make a last-second dive right there. Good hustle by the kicker to make a game-saving tackle right there. 53-yard return. Kenny Watson. Remember, he uh, was addressed rather sternly by Coach Paterno after he fumbled that punt earlier. Thompson throws, gets a man ahead for a gain of about five yards. It'll be second and five from the 41 yard line. Tight end Tony Stewart makes the play. A good speed for a big guy. I mean, you're looking at a six foot five, 255 pound stud that runs about a 4740. That's excellent speed for a tight end with that kind of size. Penn State leading 10 to 3. Lee Thompson's numbers. Bringing those linebackers in and out. Lining the blitz. Hand off McCoo. Turning back, running well, needed five, got six. First down, Nittany Lions to the 36-yard line. Hell Blades, the free safety, made the tackle for Miami. Nice job by Jordan Caruso, their short guard, pulling out, and also Saramelli, their fullback. This is one of their favorite plays. You can see Saramelli right there in 74, Caruso. There's the kick out, and there is, right on the inside, the cutoff block by Saramelli. Great job. Opening drive of the second half. Usually a critical one in determining a game. Often. First down. Thompson dumps it off. Eddie Drummond. He's down close to the 25-yard line and just short of a first down. A gain of maybe 10 yards. We'll see where they spot the ball. Might be a first down. Dan Morgan, shaken up in the first half, had the hamstring injury. He's back in, starting the second half, makes the tackle. Great protection here by the offensive line. Number 93, Barreau can't get there. If Thompson puts the ball out in front of the receiver here, and he knows it, look at him, he's a little disappointed. If he puts the ball out in front of Drummond, he might still be running. They get it by the nose of the football, so the Nittany Lions drive on. Joe Paterno saw a season a year ago start out fast like it has this year. 3-0 were the Nittany Lions last year. Then they went to number one Ohio State and got beaten. And before the season was done, they were hammered by Michigan and Wisconsin. Ended up at 9-3 and three in the outback goal. And they couldn't stop the run last year, but so far today, great job. Thompson with a timing pattern gets the ball out to Sam Crenshaw on the far flank. And Crenshaw taken down by Edward Reed. There is a gain on the play of four yards, second down and six. When you talk to most top quarterbacks about this kind of weather, most of them will tell you the rain doesn't bother them that much. It's the wind. I think where you're going to see some of the problems is with the receivers and the running backs holding on to the football. I saw Bernie Kozar at halftime, the guy who quarterbacked Miami to its first national championship. I asked about the rain. He said they practice in this a lot. So this is hotter on the defensive backs than the offense. Ciramelli on second down and 
six gets ahead for only a yard to the 21 yard line. Dan Morgan, he makes the stop. Yeah, the, the problem as a defensive back in this kind of weather, obviously, is that you're going backwards and anticipating having to come out of a break as fast as you can. Wide receiver has the advantage. The big hurricane following now kicks in. A sold-out orange ball. Third down. Needing six. Catch to the tight end. Tony Stewart is down for a first down to the five-yard line. A gain of 14 yards on the play. And the Nittany Lions drive on to open the second half. Really a well-conceived play there. The front side of the formation cleared it out. And number 89, Stewart, the tight end, crossing your screen right now, came underneath the two wideouts who pushed the D-backs off deep. Nice grab. Fingertips in the rain. First and goal, just outside the five. McCo to the two. Second down and goal. He was the first freshman, Eric McCo, to lead Penn State in rushing as a freshman since DJ Dozier in 83 when McCo did it last year. Dan Morgan makes a, another stop. Undersized and relentless, Dan look, Morgan. Look at 91, R.J. Luke. He's a third-team fullback. They use him as an H-back. Look at the block he puts on number 94 right there, William Joseph. He's a thug. 91 could wear 61 or 71. It doesn't matter. Second and goal. McCo. Wide and in, standing up. And Penn State with a perfectly executed opening drive that was ignited by the 53-yard kickoff return by Watson. And now they take it right down and in. Eric McCoo on the payoff end, and the Nittany Lions extend to a 16-3 lead. How about the dancing moves here? I mean, they're coming at his feet. One step, boom, no problem. I'm going to the Copacabana tonight. All the moves, and into the end zone. Travis Forney to try the point after. Snap and set down are good. Nittany Lions 17 to 3. Great move right there, getting to the corner. Defensive coordinator Greg Schiano, the former Penn State coach. You think he's happy? I don't. So Penn State drives down the field and takes a 17 to 3 lead. Its aggressive V6 engine gives you the power to run wild. Inside, it's as quiet as the open plains. Motor Week's best small SUV of the year, the V6 Grand Vitara. From Suzuki. That's a Suzuki! I hope she got my good side. I think AOL is one big community. It's not hard at all to use. Customer service is always there to help. I've never heard of anybody else having what AOL has. People that are on are just like you. America Online, so easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Sign up today. This is the big New Yorker pizza from Pizza Hut. Now this is what pizza's supposed to be. Look at this thing, 16 inches of real street corner pizza dripping with over a pound of cheese. And now it's just $8.99. So if you want to feed a lot of big mouths without taking a big hit in the wallet, try the big New Yorker from Pizza Hut. Try it already. Introducing new Smooth Mint Scope. It keeps your breath feeling clean and fresh longer. It kills bad breath germs and now its tingle lasts and lasts. Because finding true love is just a matter of time. So be ready with new Smooth Mint Scope. Feel the tingle longer. What would you do with a crystal face hand-polished to withstand two tons of unadulterated pressure? What would you do with a tachymetric scale so precise it can survive 240-degree heat? What would you do with a world-renowned Alpha Expedition timepiece? Well, you'd probably just use it to tell time. 
and at $6,500, that watch could cost you over $30,000 in retirement savings. We just thought you should know. Ask a financial advisor about Sun America, the retirement specialist. We got to know more. CBS Sports Line. In 94, he had seven sacks. Where are you getting all this information? It's all right here, an alumni tracker. CBS Sports Line, when you've got to know more. Back to the Orange Bowl, rain continuing to fall, and the Miami Hurricanes needing to get something going now. They have a sign in their locker room. The road to the top is always uphill. It is for them now for to get back in this game. Running the kickoff back for Miami, Andre King, and he's going to be knocked down across the 15-yard line. Monday on CBS, take a regular guy whose life is filled with women and let the games begin. Alfred Molina stars with Sharon Lawrence in the series premiere of Ladies Don't. Man, right after the King of Queens, right here on CBS. Great day of college football on CBS, America's most watched network. Tonight, a split national feed. Many of you will see Tennessee and Florida from Gainesville. Others will see Michigan at Syracuse. Hand off up the middle. Gaines try to run. Jackson the ball carry, and they're putting both arms on the ball here now, Mike, for good reason. Yeah, they need, really need to. They can ill afford any kind of turnover with this kind of field position. First period for the time. Or Pecos. started on stockbrokers. I had one for the better part of 10 years. Let me tell you something. The only one who was broker was me. With Ameritrade, it's so simple. I sit down at my computer, a couple of clicks, and I can see for myself. $8 a trade. My stockbroker says you're going to hate online trading. You can add that to the long list of things he was wrong about. Call toll-free 888-537-8320 or visit Ameritrade.com. Ameritrade, the way to trade, period. I'm going right by you. Know, got... Hey, y'all, give me some help. You getting tired? You need yeah. some oxygen? All right, come on. Got got one. One. We've lost power because of the lightning in the area. Another run for the near side on third down and seven. They give the ball to James Jackson, the Miami Hurricanes do, and he's ahead to about the 27 yard line. Short of a first down by a yard and a half. So the Canes, on their first drive of the second half, will have to punt the ball. Ominous beginning for the Canes, just like the first half. This time, Penn State takes the opening kickoff, goes down and scores. Miami stopped on downs on their initial drive. Bruce Branch is back to our right, ready to return the punt for Penn State. We'll pick you up. We've heard your complaints about changing your oil filter, trying to grip that slippery filter. That's why Fram, America's number one filter, now has Sure Grip, a rough texture top for easy gripping and installing. It makes changing your oil filter a lot easier. We welcome you back to our New York studios, and we apologize. We have lost our feed from Miami. Tim Brando, along with Spencer Tillman, and our college football today does roll on. As soon as we've ironed out the problems at the Orange Bowl, we will get you back out to Don Cricky and Mike Mayotte for further coverage of Penn State and Miami. As a matter of fact, I'm being told as we speak that Miami and Penn State are ready to go. We have power. Houston. We're going to take you back to the launching pad. Remember, a touchdown just scored moments ago by Penn State. They lead by two touchdowns. Again, our apologizes. We apologize for the brief glitch. Back out to Don Cricky. Thanks, Tim. Power back on. Penn State with the ball, leading 17 to 3 after driving for a touchdown on the opening possession of the third quarter. Big defensive series for Miami. Penn State took it to them on that initial drive. They've got to make a stop here. First and ten. Kevin Thompson, the start of the game at quarterback. This is Omar Easy, the guy averaging nine and a half yards a run. Call him a track star who's really learning to play football. Born in Jamaica, played high school football in Everett, Massachusetts. Some people had him rated as good as he was, but he's still learning the game. Tremendous ability, though. Huge and fast. 6'1", 245, one of the fastest players on the team. You know, Fran Ganner said he was a track star emerging as a football player. I mean, the guy's 6'1", 245. In, in a pair of track shorts, he's killer. On that run, he got nothing. Second and ten. Thompson, quick drop. Ball skips through the hands of his receiver. 
receiver and Thompson is pounded. Coming in to get him was Damian Lewis. Talk about the, the long line of great defensive linemen. Well, number 92 is another one of them. Don, that was a situation. Look at Dan Morgan, number 44, one of the best athletes on the team. The ball goes right through his hand. Dan Morgan makes that catch 99 out of 100 times, but in the rain, Dan Morgan couldn't hold the football, and that would have given them great field position. So that brings up third down and 10. Drummond on the run. Can he outrace the pursuit? He cannot. Knocked out of bounds all the way back at the 20. So as Butch Davis said, the Miami program is built on speed. That's our trademark. And they had more than Eddie Drummond, who's the fastest Nittany Lion. Watch Michael Perot, 93. He does just enough to force Drummond to bounce it outside. That gives the inside-out pursuit right there, 98. Sweeney an opportunity, and there's nowhere to go for Drummond. Michael Perot made a great play forcing the big bounce out. Pat Pigeon dropping back to punt now for Penn State, standing inside his five. Booms the ball downfield. Santana Moss loses it, picks it up. Shortest distance between two points. He starts straight ahead and gets five yards after a 50-yard punt. Joe Kelly in the Canes offense gets the ball when we come back. I will pursue greater growth opportunities to reach my goals. Historically, being aggressive has made sense. Despite nine recessions since World War II, the market's up 71-fold because earnings are up 58-fold. Earnings drive the market. The Fidelity Aggressive Growth Fund seeks companies with accelerated earnings or revenue growth potential. See what Fidelity Money Management Excellence can do for you. Get the fact kit today. Call 1-800-FIDELITY or visit fidelity.com. At last, a mini SUV with enough power to take you anywhere you want to go. And enough space and comfort to make the journey enjoyable. Introducing the all-new V6 Grand Vitara from Suzuki. Excuse me, is that really a Suzuki? It's very nice. Now a look at this week's Suzuki Heisman Watch Update. To Purdue fans, he's refreshing as a cool breeze. Boilermaker quarterback Drew Brees, Spencey special. Yes, he is special, Tim. He single-handedly transformed this whole image and impression of the conference. As you take a look at this guy, he can make every throw imaginable. Today, 25 of 39 for 320 yards, two touchdowns today. I like him because he's from Texas. He's special. <laughs> for more information on the Suzuki Heisman Watch, log on to cbs.sportsline.com. Here we are, Tim, back at the Orange Bowl in Miami. Kelly is now 4 for 12, throwing the ball for 42 yards. He's fumbled once, though, fumbled it away after a brilliant run, and he's thrown two interceptions, but they got to start throwing now. They're not going to get there running the ball against this Penn State defense. Timing pattern, near side. The ball is flipped out nicely. They head for a gain of about five yards to Mondrell Fulcher, working as the fullback, but he's a converted tight end. Fulcher is a pretty interesting story. Played a lot of fullback and tight end here. They use him as a combination fullback, eighth back, and he can also catch the football with good deceiving speed for a guy his size. A guy from Coffeyville, Kansas. Very fast. Second down and a long five. In. He's ahead for a gain of four yards. He got out to the 49-yard line. Third down and one for Miami. Brandon Short, the middle backer. They said he came back for his senior year, Mike, because he had unfinished business. And meant by that, a national championship. And Penn State's happy he did. Look at Arrington. Great speed. Overran the play. The two things I noticed on tape, number one, you can cut him in space. And number two, sometimes he over-pursues over and misses tackles. Finds a 
gap on third down. Good blocking from the right side. Led by Joaquin Gonzalez. Center Ty Wise got out of the linebacker. Jackson's now run 19 times and has gained 39 yards. Game clock moving along quickly in the third quarter. Butch Davis, his team needing to get it in the end zone. Down by a 14-point count. And again, the Joe Paterno says, will tell us, Penn State, how good we really are. Not bad being ranked third in the country and 3-0 and coming in. And he's number eight. Kelly gets it down. What a catch. Bubba Franks. And down with the ball. A gain of 12 yards and a first down. While we have a moment, we go back to New York. Tim? Don, we told you that uh, Ron Dane had his ankle rewrapped, a left ankle sprain at halftime. Here he is, 18 yards off the sprint draw action. There's the powerful Dane. They go for two, miss it. It's 14-12, a huge upset in the making for the former Notre Dame assistant, Rick Minter at Cincinnati. Wow. That shakes up the whole Big Ten standings, but not standings, but the way the Big Ten is structured going into their season. Miami Hurricanes representing the Big East. They've won their last eight against Big Ten opponents at Miami, but now Jackson runs it as all of a sudden the Miami run blockers start to crack open the Penn State defense. That's good for a gain of 11 yards by James Jackson. Stopped by the safety boy. 62, Richard Mercier. Kick out block. Jackson reads it perfectly. Mercier talks about how Jackson helps you set up a block. That was a great shot of it right there. One of the biggest games in this series between Miami and Penn State was back in 81. The Miami program was almost out of business. They went up, up to uh, State College and upset then number one ranked Penn State. It was Jim Kelly's first start at quarterback for Miami, and they really felt that got the program turned around. <laughs> Kelly in trouble, eludes it. Cooley moving downfield. Nothing there, so goes over the top and gets himself about six. <laughs> There's that athletic ability again. I thought if he hung in the pocket, he probably had his wide receiver, Reggie Wayne, open deep. Look at the blitz. That's Sturdivan, 58. He gets picked up nicely. Now, I thought he should have hung right here and delivered the football. Courtney Brown changes his mind, gets away from Courtney, and here's a kick. Here's a Don, once again, you're making a little something out of nothing. Well, he made almost Woo. six yards out of it, second down and four. Enormously important drive for Miami. Down by 14. Rain is stopped right now. Jackson looks for a blocker, comes inside, and Jackson's down to the 18-yard line. On second and four, he got two. Third down and two coming up. Interesting play call coming up for Butch Davis. Third and two situation. Just inside the red zone. Butch knows he needs touchdown here, not necessarily field goal. Wouldn't be surprised to see play action pass down here. Butch Davis knows the glory days here at the Orange Bowl. He was with Jimmy Johnson as an assistant when Miami won the national championship in 88. And he's with Johnson with the Cowboys for two Super Bowl victories. Eighth play of the drive. Right back to Jackson with a blocker. He's heading in, and James Jackson takes it the distance. Miami's back in the game, an 18-yard run for a touchdown. Great blocking on the end of the line of scrimmage. This is their stretch play. Good down block by Franks, and look at the fullback. That's Valdez on number six, James Boyd, and Jackson just waltzes into the end zone. Huge touchdown for Miami. Sustained drive, 18 yards on the payoff run. Extra point is hit up and good by Crossman. And with 3.56 left to go in the third quarter, it's now Penn State 17, Miami 10. The drive, Mike, they really had to have. And the Canes get it and get back in the game. They'll kick off when we come back. Is that what I think it is? But it's just a... Try it. Incredible. The wireless internet right here in my hand. 
news, sports, even Yahoo, all on Sprint PCS. And the calls? Clear digital calls. Nothing else has changed. Do you think they're ready? Some are. Others will follow. Introducing the Sprint PCS Wireless Web. We've heard your complaints about changing your oil filter, trying to grip that slippery filter. That's why Fram, America's number one filter, now has Sure Grip, a rough textured top for easy gripping and installing. It makes changing your oil filter a lot easier. This is the big New Yorker pizza from Pizza Hut. Now, this is what pizza's supposed to be. Look at this thing. 16 inches of real street corner pizza dripping with over a pound of cheese. And now it's just $8.99. So if you want to feed a lot of big mouths without taking a big hit in the wallet, try the big New Yorker from Pizza Hut. Try it already. There is a place on the internet, a virtual city built by SAP out of seamless information. 10,000 companies, every industry, millions of people. Your business linked to theirs in one easy step. Shrink your work, expand your ideas. You've got a business, we've got a city. MySAP.com. Welcome to the city of E. Critics call now and again. Utterly unpredictable. A high tech, heartfelt roller coaster ride. From the creator of Moonlighting. I know you're watching me. Now and again, premiere CBS Friday. The Home Depot College Football on CBS is sponsored by Suzuki. Fidelity Investments. Fram Agard. And by Nike. Rocking and rolling at the Orange Bowl. They really ignited the crowd again now. They have sustained touchdown drive. And right now, Mike, Jackson's running the ball well. Yeah, on that particular series, he picked up 38 yards on that drive. He's got 22 carries for 70. We talked at halftime, Don. Who can establish a run game? Both teams have picked up the, the, the offensive pressure a little bit this half. High kick, a spinning kick. They're kicking it short. They don't want to kick to the return, man. They give it to an up back. He's going to be, uh, <laughs> will he fair catch it? If he fair catches it and runs more than two steps, it's a penalty. He didn't know what to expect. There was a fair catch signal on the play. Tyler Linda looked like a tight end who was in there to block. Watch the touchdown now from the low angle. Good look at it here. You're going to see catch. the down block. And watch 34. He buries the safety. 83. That's Valdez all over James Boyd. And that makes it easy for a running back. They love that. You think they're back into the football game? First and yeah. 10. Well, the Nittany Lions. Yeah, the Nittany Lions the respond. You'll remember their opening drive of this third quarter when they took the opening kickoff back. 53 yards and then went the rest of the way in a sustained drive to build a 17-3 lead. Now it's 17-10 Nittany Lions. Bashard Casey's in. Dodging trouble, but they nail him. Another sack for the Kane defense. Dan Morgan, he heals fast. <laughs> who's Dan Morgan? There he is. Five sacks for the Kane. Yeah, we keep referring to who's Dan Morgan. LeVar Arrington said that at a press conference earlier this week, igniting a lot of upset on the Miami side. They came to the defense of their star, Danny Morgan. The Athlete trivia question. In 1966, Joe Paterno became the head coach at Penn State. Who won the Heisman Trophy that same year? Well, the answer in a bit is right now they go to the run. Not much going on for Eric McCoo on second down and 11. He got a yard. Maybe less. So Joe Paterno, like six other coaches with teams ranked in the top 25, using the two-quarterback system, and now he's bringing Richard Casey out, Mike. The Casey? I know, he's staying he's in. He's staying in, I thought, yep. It's rocking and rolling now, big play. They're down, they need over 10. They're going to blitz. Here it comes. Safety's coming. Linebacker's coming. And Richard Casey beats them all. Heading to the outside. He has a first down. And he could go the distance. The race is on. Will Richard Casey win it? 
Looks like he will. They finally get him from behind inside the 10-yard line. Hey, Don, they're going to bring it all the way back. There's oh, a little man. penalty flag on the 29-yard line. They're going to catch Tony Stort on a clip in the open field. There it is, the clip. Wow, 72-yard run negated. That's a career for some guys. That will give coaches ulcers right there. Now, once again, wonderful athletic ability. Pocket collapses. He gets outside. Watch the big guy, 89, right in here. On the lower left ankle of number eight, Mike Rump. Referee made the call. I thought he turned his back a little bit, but you know what? You can't get on the back of his leg like he does right there. Yeah. Yep. Okay, good call. Joe Paterno just can't believe it. Good clip. He took out two guys. <laughs> but it did gain an unfair advantage for his quarterback, so we're coming all the way back. Instead of first and goal, they end up with the ball in their own 15-yard line. This time, Rashad Casey is trotting off. He started off before. He, he's exhausted by that run. I think you called it right. I think you said, hey, coach, I can't breathe. That brings up third down and 16, a 72-yard run called back. The call a good one. The replay showing a clip. Hand off to McCoo. He breaks it, and then he's caught from behind. Nate Webster, he went off. He looked like he wasn't going to play again today, and he's back in there making stops. That's a great football player, Nate Webster. They heal fast. <laughs> Danny Morgan, Webster making huge plays defensively. And it's a gale force right now for this hurricane defense. So Miami gets the ball back, down by seven, late in the third quarter, 125 to play in it. And remember what Butch Davis told us yesterday, with a twinkle in his eye, I think we can get one of their punts. They're going for it, they almost get it. They say it's clean, he did tip the ball, they knocked the punter down, but they did get a piece of the ball. It doesn't get any closer, Don, we just talked about it, and they got a little piece. That was Edward Reed who was in there. 45 yard punt. Well done by Pigeon to get it away. The games happen when we come back. Why do I rent from Enterprise? Very simple. No stress. They arrange to pick me up free so I don't have to ask anyone for a ride. See? No stress. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. We've heard your complaints about changing your oil filter, trying to grip that slippery filter. That's why Fram, America's number one filter, now has Sure Grip, a rough textured top for easy gripping and installing. It makes changing your oil filter a lot easier. I want to build my portfolio on solid ground. Solid business fundamentals can lead to increased earnings for companies, and growing dividends can be the proof. The Fidelity Dividend Growth Fund sees a company's current or potential dividend growth as a sign of financial strength. See what Fidelity Money Management Excellence can do for you. Get the fact kit today. Call 1-800-FIDELITY or visit fidelity.com. And now, the Fidelity Mentors of the Game. The biggest influence, you know, was my dad. I mean, my dad was a, you know, hard worker. Woke me up early all the time, got stuff done, and, you know, no procrastination. I mean, just go out and get it done, work hard, and, you know, do everything to the best of your ability. And that was my dad's attitude. I mean, he worked hard, and, I mean, he passed those values on to me, and we go out and practice hard and, you know, do every play right. With Mike Mayock, this is Don Cricky back at the Orange Bowl in Miami. The Canes on their home field. This hasn't been a happy valley for visiting teams over the years. During one 10-year stretch, Miami won an NCAA record 58 straight home games. From 85 through 94. Kelly dumps it off. He gets McCartland, his big fullback, who doesn't get it off him, but loses the ball. It caroms downfield and goes out of bounds. <laughs> LeVar Arrington got caught inside. Lost contain and came back on the hustle play and swatted the ball loose 20 yards downfield. Watch LeVar. Up. Got caught up inside. Bad play, LeVar, but look at the hustle. Right arm is going to hook behind McPartland. Ball comes loose. Boy, that's just a great natural play at the end of it. He gets beat and then makes the play coming back. Fortunate for Miami, it got out of bounds. He once caught it for his high school team, LeVar Arrington. 
snap over his head went into the end zone rush was on he couldn't punt it so he ran it back 107 yards for a touchdown <laughs> such a good athlete he was recruited for basketball by schools like North Carolina and Georgetown he has the package North Hills high in Pittsburgh run for only about a yard down to the 40 yard line now back to New York Tim Don, we switch gears for a moment to baseball, where Sammy Sosa, stuck on 59 for better than a week, goes deep in the sixth off Jason Beret of the Brewers. He becomes the first player in Major League Baseball history to have back-to-back -back 60 home run seasons. Wow. Arriba for Sammy. Well, what a following he had. That'll do it for three quarters of play as time runs out. Fourth quarter, I mean, Hurricanes all holding up the four fingers. Signal each other that this is our quarter on our home field. At the end of the third quarter with the score, Penn State 17, Miami 10. We'll be right back after a message and a word from your local station. V6 engine gives you the power to run wild. Inside, it's as quiet as the open plains. Motor Week's best small SUV of the year, the V6 Grand Vitara from Suzuki. That's a Suzuki! I hope she got my good side. Good financial decisions require expertise. Life needs flexibility. Success demands leadership. If there's something you want to achieve, the principal has one word of advice. Plan ahead, get ahead. The Principal Financial Group. This week on The Late Show, Dave welcomes Robin Williams, Norm MacDonald, Adam Sandler, Stupid Patricks, and Randy Travis. Monday, don't miss Michael J. Fox and Miss America 99. Wake up to the all-new early show with Brian Gumbel and Jane Clayson, coming November 1st. Hey, fish. Loves you, baby. You're beautiful.
just like you said, reminiscent of Ohio State. Santana Moss saw it the whole way, came back and beat Fox for it. Well, on the scoring summary, though, it's a thing of beauty. It's a line drive in the yeah. book, isn't it? <laughs> Here's the extra point. Crossland knocks it up and through, and Miami roaring back with 14 unanswered points after they trail by 14. They're in the third quarter, and it's a tie game. Here it is. Wonderful athletic ability one more time. Can't see anything where he wants front side. He gets away from Courtney Brown. He sees Santana Moss breaking to the corner. It's a duck. Fox turns his back, loses sight of the football, which you can't do. And Santana Moss makes the adjustment. Look at Moss. He turns around like a center fielder. Fox completely lost it. Boy, you can make or break a season on a play like that. Okay, that's the first thing wrong that Fox has done all day. He's played a tremendous game. Santana Moss is the Big East 60-yard sprint champion, the indoor sprint champions. Coach Jones, what happened? Well, they had a breakdown like that with Miami. Remember that 50-yard pass to Shoppy Field? First touchdown of the game. No question. Maybe a 10-0 lead. I'm not sure whether or not Joe Paterno couldn't have beat Santana Moss in a 60 right there. He was so upset. But his uh, Lions get the ball back. Danny Kelly, who had a difficult first half, threw two interceptions and fumbled away once. There's Santana Moss. Little guy. He was recruited by some uh, smaller Division I football schools. He was recruited to Miami for track, but he said, I, I really felt I could make the team. I just wanted to get a tryout. Here he is starting. And really one of the standouts. Kickoff. Kenny Watson for the Lions. Comes out of the pack and gets across. Ball on the field. And Penn State gets it back at the 27-yard line. I think Bryant Johnson, backup wide receiver, jumped on that football. Kenny Watson coming out of the end zone makes a good return, but you've got to secure the football. There it is, hanging low again. Number three, Ward. Shoulder pad right on the ball. It comes loose. Very alertly, number 24, back up right. Wide receiver, Brian Johnson makes the play. It's an even bigger return. Ball at the 27-yard line. Lane is stopped. Lights on. Timing throw. Rashard Casey puts it on the numbers of Eddie Drummond, and he's ahead for a gain of 11 yards and a first down. First down, Sunday on 60 Minutes. If you think today's public schools can't educate children the way they did when you went to school, watch the premiere of another season of 60 Minutes Sunday. Then Amy Brenneman and Tyne Daly star on the series premiere of Judging Amy. Followed by the CBS Sunday movie, Sealed with a Kiss, starring John Stamos and Annabeth Kish. All Sunday on CBS, America's most watched network. First down, Penn State. Game tied. Early fourth quarter, as you see. 14-33. Lob throw. Nicely timed. Down with the ball. Shoffy Fields, and he's ahead for a big game. All the way down inside the 40 to the 35-yard line. When Casey's in the ball game, they play up tempo. And let me tell you something. Nickel package in the game. Both Shoffy Fields and Rashard Casey made the right read. Sight adjustment on the man-to-man -man press coverage. That's a fade route. Good coverage. Look where he drops it in. Right over his shoulder pad for a 26-yard gain. You don't do it any better than Casey and Fields. Yeah, perfectly timed. So the Nittany Lions answer now. A little difference in big plays there, huh, Don? Yeah, there are that. Yeah, they've had a many. More to come. Sir O'Malley on a 
first down carry. They give it to the fullback, who's usually the blocker. Yeah, they throw him a bone every once in a while, Don. He knocks down so many defensive ends and linebackers that they let him carry the ball every now and then. Here is the Athletic Trivia question answer. The 66 uh, Heisman Trophy winner, Steve Spurrier. Only coach to have won a Heisman Trophy, then to have coached a Heisman Trophy winner, Danny Werfel. I think it's an interesting relationship between he and Paterno, two different kind of guys. Hey, it worked once with Ciramelli, right back to him. Big fullback, 5'10", 233. From Allentown, PA, Dad took him to the Penn State game since he was very young. That's all he wanted in life was to play fullback for Penn State. And he's doing it, starting fullback. Al Blades, their free safeties down. Once again, another guy they cannot afford to lose. He, hit, he missed the, the uh, Florida A&M game with a fractured ulna in his forearm. This is uh, just the sixth play of the drive coming up. But in the five previous plays, the Nittany Lions have advanced the ball from their 27 all the way down to the 10-yard line. Kind of looks like a cramp. And you and I spent the last two days, Don, talking about which team in the heat, even though it's not as hot as we thought it would be, which team in the fourth quarter could stand up against the heat and the other pressure from the other team? And there's Blades down with a hamstring, excuse me, with cramps. There's that fractured ulna we talked about in his forearm that forced him to miss the uh, FAMU game. Got to be tough. Guy would go hang gliding in a tornado, miss, breaks his arm and misses one game. <laughs> Obviously, great legacy of Blades here at Miami. His older brother, Benny, won the Thorpe Award as the best defensive back in the nation a few years ago. First down, Penn State, this tie game. Straight ahead give. Not for a lot, but they get some to the Lions down inside of the seven-yard line. Second down and goal from there. I think Joe Paterno has, as he go off and do, has started to take over some of the play calling chores for the Lions. Fran Ganner has been his offensive coordinator for 29 years, but when Joe wants to, he steps in and they go. The CBS that sports line. That comes stat of the game. Penn State with a sizable advantage in total yards. Okay. Bottom line numbers, it's a tie game. Rashard Casey gets away for a moment, then he's taken down on second down and goal. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Dangerous Dan Morgan ran him down, number 44, third and goal. And they had some protection breakdowns there. John Blick, the tackle, and Eric Cole talking it over. Great athletic ability just to get back to the line of scrimmage. That's a dodge tackle. It's amazing. Look at that. Morgan is in before he even knows what to do. Damian Lewis. Morgan comes back <laughs> off and makes it again. Morgan missed him once and came back and got him. I love Dan Morgan. He is a great football player. Well, that's one, two. He grew up in Pennsylvania and his family moved to Florida, Coral Springs, Florida. He played high school. Painter is a tailback. Goffey Fields. Dang, man. The Canes deliver the blows. One, two, and three on Shoffee Field. These guys start up after the whistle. There's Greg Piano, the defensive coordinator. Might have to tape him up and send him in. Oh, he's a play, too. Now, here's that reverse now to Fields. Morgan pushes him out. Watch from the inside out now. Bang, number 52. You know who that is, folks. Nate Webster. He's only six feet. 230 pounds, and he brings a load every time. They have seen great games here, though. San Diego upset of the Dolphins in the 82 playoff game. All those orange balls like Miami upsetting Nebraska. This is as good as any of them. Maybe more mistakes. But these guys are laying it on the line. Every guy, everything he's got, every play. Field goal. Travis Forney knocks it up and through, and the Lions break the tie and build a 20-17 lead with a lot of time left to go. 10.40 left to play in the game on a 26-yard field goal by Forney. Now the playing conditions, Mike, are really very good. The rain has stopped. We're getting what we wanted done. They call me Oaf Dog from Sandusky, Ohio. Dog pound 
since 87. Football fanatic since birth. If you're a football fan like me, you gotta have Direct TV. I bought my Direct TV at Walmart. Walmart's got the best prices. I have uh, three dishes total. Uh, this is the one on my house. I got another one on top of my motor home. I get football beamed right from the football gods, right through my dish and right into my veins. Football is life. With Direct TV, it's like you're there. You gotta have Direct TV, you gotta get to Walmart. I love football! They say the ultimate test of a car battery is to put it into a New York City cab. So we did. Napa's new orbital battery is the first to store acid in leak-proof cells. That's important because it makes it virtually indestructible. More than we can say about the cab. What did you do to my cab? Napa, over 200,000 parts and every one is important. Taxi! When was the last time you felt 284 horses tugging at your soul? When was the last time you immersed yourself in hand-tufted virgin leather? Can you really put a price on this kind of perfection? Actually, you can, because this $70,000 car could cost you over $326,000 in retirement savings. We just thought you should know. Ask a financial advisor about Sun America, the retirement specialist. The Home Depot College Football on CBS is sponsored by Sun America, Head and Shoulders, Honda ATVs, and by Pep Boys. Back at the Orange Bowl, number three, Penn State. Taking a three-point lead on the Forney field goal. Now Travis Forney kicks off high. It'll be run back. 20 to 17, Nittany Lions. Here comes Andre King. He's out across the 25 to the 27. Andre King's 25 years old. Spent four years playing minor league baseball. Thursday on CBS. Wait till you see what the creator of Ally McBeal and the practice has done to Chicago Hope. Don't miss the season premiere on a brand new night, Thursday on CBS, America's most watched network. Miami now down by three. There's a good stat right there. Speaks well. We talked about Chicago hope. Well, I think there's some hope here in Miami. And state defense take it in. For the run, James Jackson sliding by tacklers, gets a little bit to the 30-yard line. He got three, second down and seven. Give this Miami team a lot of credit for hanging in there. Penn State struggled running the ball last week. Butch Davis's guys knew they had to stop the run today. And let's face it, Kenny Kelly hasn't had a great game, but he's hung in there. He's made some plays. He has in the, in the second half. Before long, number 15 is going to air it out to number 6, who's aligning to the top of your screen, second guy in. That's Santana Moss, number 6. Kelly play fakes, takes a look, he fires. That's Santana Moss, and he's out down to the 36-yard uh, line. And a penalty marker comes in, could be a personal foul. Yeah, that was pure man-to-man -man coverage with no free safety help. Macklin, face mask on David Macklin, one of the best cover corners in the country, got abused. Now, while the penalty yardage is marked off, the clock down to 9.43 to play. 15 yards, automatic first down. They had a 15 yards on the personal foul, Macklin. From Newport News, Virginia. Penn State's got a lot of good football players from Virginia. Yeah, they sure do. And, and you look at the separation that Moss gets in pure man-to-man -man coverage. He ran him into the middle, then back outside, and there it is. Face mask, they add 15 yards. Huge play for Miami. Kind of evens off. Santana had a personal foul called on him in the first half. On Macklin, as a matter of fact. That's right. To the ground. Moss, four catches, 67 yards, and a touchdown. James Jackson bouncing to the outside. And he's to the 46-yard line. First down carry. I think Jimmy Kennedy, the nose guard from Penn State, jumped off sides, jumped into the neutral zone there. Oh, we got a hole. Coming back. Butch Davis not liking what he 
seeing here. It goes against his canes in his fifth year. The man entrusted with turning around and bringing back the Miami Holy program. On the offense, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down, still. So it's first down all over again, but from way back. Ball will be spotted at the 42 yard line. First down, 21. Where they have it spotted, it's, they need 21 for the first down. Benny Kelly takes a look, running out of time. He's on the run. Weirdly interrupted was that run by LeVar Arrington, who throws him down. And that gives us a chance to go back to Tim Brando in New York. Don, difficulty for your alma mater today. Their third loss consecutively. Michigan State gets it done. Gary Scott on the receiving end of this pass from Bill Burke. Michigan State wins the game. They become the second program in history to beat the Irish in three consecutive years, the other being USC. Well, I think that uh, your alma mater, Notre Dame, is becoming my alma mater, Boston College, the, uh, the BC of the Midwest. <laughs> They're on the ropes. There's no question about that. Here's a throw and a catch. What a nice looking play. On a second and 20 play, he threads it into Reggie Wayne. Who missed Rainball because of an ACL injury. They all say he's back, though. Here we go. What I like is Kenny Kelly delivers it on time. Here's the break. Zone coverage. Get rid of the football in the seam. Oh, that's a big play. It sure is. And Fox comes in a little late. Good job by Kelly delivering the football and then hanging on there by Reggie Wayne. Well, we asked Larry Coker, the O coordinator for Miami, to give us a rundown of Reggie Wayne. He said, smooth, smart, great hands. We saw it all there. Jackson. To the outside, the race is on, and he's gone. James Jackson into the end zone. No flags, and the Canes take the lead on a 39-yard touchdown run. Man. James Boyd, the free safety from Penn State, sold out and lost contained. Watch number six, corner of your screen. From inside out, he takes the leap. Doesn't keep contained. Number 19, Anthony King got buried on a great block. Fox can't catch him. It's a touchdown. For the first time today, the Miami Hurricanes on their home field have taken the lead. That was uh, no good. Oh. So instead of a four-point lead, it's now a three-point game. Wow, how huge is that? Very big indeed. But they have taken the lead as Davis brings his troops over to rally them. James Jackson delivering the goods big time. The swamps of Louisiana. There's only one reason why we would bring Honda ATVs to this kind of mud. This kind of terrain. This kind of non-stop torture. To see if they could get out. They're America's most popular ATVs for America's least popular places. Now, right off with our best financing, 8.9%. When you're active, the last thing you want is the uncomfortable itch of the dandruff. Introducing new Head & Shoulders Refresh. It helps prevent dandruff, and its refreshing mint formula feels cool and stimulating on the scalp. No regular shampoo can give you hair so refreshed and flake-free. New Head & Shoulders Refresh from the Head & Shoulders family. Our refreshing way to help prevent dandruff. Our family vacation started at Pep Boys when we met Larry. Handsome guy. Oh, yeah. Told us we could save on every size tire in stock. These were four for 99 bucks. You really did see some sights. And the 70,000-mile tires were four for 169. Wow. So what was the highlight? Uh, probably the 80,000-mile Futura SEs. Motor Trend says they deliver impressive acceleration and performance. All sizes four for 199. I know where I'm taking the kids this year. Pep Boys. Cars like us. People love us. 
Becker's had the summer off. Think he's chilled out? You actually patronize a place called Living La Vida Mocha? Don't count on it. The season premiere of Becker, CBS Monday. A missed extra point by the Hurricanes leaves them with a three-point lead and a lot of time left. To see, 7.42 to go. Light rain falling again at the Orange Bowl. Crosland, who mixed the extra point, kicks off. Watson, he's been tough. Into the 53 yard and open the third quarter. That was the beginning of a touchdown run. This time he's taken down to the 27 yard line. Now that last big play, Anthony King has got contained. Watch what happens when the fullback from the Cartland and the guard, Mercier, 62. They're going to both get a big block on them. With uh, 7.31 left to go in the game. Now the pressure's on uh, the Penn State offense, and they have Richard Casey in the quarterback who can run and throw. Interesting contrast in this game. You'll remember there were five turnovers in the first half combined, none in the second half. Marker down before the snap of the ball. And remember what Joe Pa told us, which is that he goes by a gut feel on which quarterback to use, and he's riding the hot hand right now with Casey. Right into the snap. Best start on the offense. Five yards. Still first down. All right, that last play. Remember, Mercier's going to pull out. Watch what happens to number 19. He loses contain, and then Boyd, number six, gets caught up in the rubble. He takes a bad angle, and from that point, Jackson's just going to dance in. Good hustle by Fox, but too little, too late. How about these injured canes that look like they weren't going to play again maybe for weeks the way Webster went off the field? Oh, yeah. He's knocking people down all over out there, the middle linebacker. Danny Morgan, Webster, they are two great football players, and I think they had a little bit of a healthy chip on their shoulder hearing about Arrington, hearing about Morrison, hearing about Brandon Short. They played a great football game. Miami has been blocking... A lot better on uh, Courtney Brown when Penn State's defense has been out there. He was dominating the game earlier. Casey's been perfect throwing. Five for five for 96 yards and a touchdown. Left tackle move. Again, well, this happens to visiting teams here. You've got unbelievable crowd noise in the closed end of the Orange Bowl. That's where the students are, coincidentally. And they're going nuts right now. Where they are, that's exactly what they're doing. <laughs> They've been waiting for the program to come back. Look at my man right there, taking the shirts off in the stands, having a great time. The Canes with that 84 Orange Bowl win over Nebraska won the first of four national championships in a nine-year period. And the NCAA sanctions that cost them 31 scholarships. Casey gets away. Richard Casey's on the run again. And they finally get him on the field at the 29-yard line. I love everything he does, but he's got to put the football away when he scrambles. Another great play by Rashard Casey. On first and 20, he got 17. Hey, he's 5 for 5 throwing the ball. He's made a bunch of big plays with his feet. This young man's carrying Penn State right now. Actually, they're spotting him down. He's going to give him a gain of 15 yards. It'll be second down and 5. Look at that jailbreak. Steps up into the pocket. Put the ball away. Put the ball away. Great speed. Put it away. Number three, Penn State. Down by three points. Fourth quarter. Hand up. And Eric McCoo can find nowhere to go. <laughs> As the super quick backer, Dan Morgan, number 44, makes yet another tackle for the Hurricane. A hey, Morgan and Webster are having so much fun. They are flying around the field just making plays. Former high school tailback takes on the guard. Catches the legs. Here comes Blades, who was just hurt a minute ago. Look at him. Miami football back. That's what he's saying. At Penn State, it's long, proud tradition. They've come back many times. Will they now? 6.15 to play. Third down. Casey stands in against the blitz. Throws and connects to Eddie Drummond. And the Lions have a first down out to the 38-yard line. Mike Rumpf on the tackle. They needed five. They got nine. A huge play for Penn State. Drummond looks like 
He's a little bit hurt after that, but give Casey credit for hanging in there under fierce pressure. Drummond hurt there, but watch the pressure. Casey steps back. Here comes number 52 and number 44. Watch the hit he takes right in the sternum. Textbook tackle. Give Casey credit for hanging in there, delivering the football, making a play. Oh, I tell you that, Aaron Harris showed the world how to pick up a blitz. Did a great job on Webster. Leveled him. First and 10, Penn State. Casey swings it out. This is Harris. Stop for a loss. Back of the 31-yard line. <laughs> Need we say who? Nate Webster makes the hit. And we go back to Tim in New York. Don, we've got a boatload of surprises to tell you about, but at the top of that, Wisconsin. Ron Dane apparently going in for a touchdown. Watch Corey Fuller, number 10, pop the ball loose. Cincinnati comes back on the other end and kicks a field goal. They lead 17-12, less than five to play in Cincinnati. Having it all over today. Five minutes left to go in the game here at the Orange Bowl. Penn State and Miami have not played since 92 when Miami upset Penn State at Beaver Stadium. Penn State College. Here is uh, Casey backpedaling. Throws to an open man but goes to the wrong side. And his receiver goes down. Omar Easy, we talked with Fran Ganner last night, and he said one of the big problems Omar is having is that he doesn't catch the football naturally. And, Mike, you're not going to believe that that's the first incomplete pass today for yep. Richard Casey. And I'll tell you what, Aaron Harris did another great job picking up blitz, and Omar does not make it look easy right there. Great pass. It's dropped. Schwartz says, come on! Big down and big distance as Ganner looks on. He needs a big play from his offense. Third down, and the Lions need 18. Here comes the rush. Throw. Intercepted. Edward Reed is on the run for Miami. He knows where to go. Here's a marker down. If he goes in, it'll come back, but it will be Miami's ball. And yeah, they're going to get Webster. Boy, these canes, I'll tell you. Webster just absolutely crucified one of the Penn State players. I think it was Aaron Harris. <laughs> but I got to tell you, you can't make that throw. If you're Casey off your back foot, you can't make that throw. Casey's first mistake is huge. Yeah, you can't throw that football off your back foot. Watch from the corner of your screen now, right there, 52 on 25. That's where the penalty is called. So Edward Reed yesterday, he's the Big East javelin champion. He's a happy guy. He just couldn't wait to play. All these uh, canes have been waiting two weeks. They were off last Saturday. Look at Butch. You know, Edward Reed made a great play, but it goes back down to what we talked about at the beginning of the game, and that is you take the good with the bad with that young quarterback. Now can the Penn State defense get the ball back with 4.28 to play? Lions dig in. Miami's going to run the ball. First and 10. Jackson. To the 41-yard line. He got four. And the clock is ticking. James Jackson keeps building his numbers. You'll remember six minutes into the second quarter, Miami had total offense of minus two yards. Now Jackson's up to 114 yards on the day on 27 carries. I like what Jackson had to say to us yesterday, Don. We asked him how fast he was. He said, well, if the other guy's a 4-4, I'm a 4-3. Bill George, our statistician for CBS, totally the numbers. Penn State has not allowed an opposing runner to have a 100-yard day in his last 15 games until today. Jackson's going to get more. Look at that block by McCartland. You got two guys. Man. Will McCartland from Scranton, Pennsylvania, blocking those Pennsylvanians. Back to Tim Brando in New York. Don, the most bizarre play and bizarre score before halftime in the SEC. Ben Laird is looking for Ronnie Daniels running this nice post. Watch number one, the quarterback, Fred Booker, pop him, and the ball is free at the 15-yard line. It's recovered by who? The receiver, Daniels, in the end zone, touchdown. 24-0, Auburn over LSU on the bayou. Wisconsin with 16 seconds left, still up by five. That's just how Tommy Tuberville, the Auburn coach, drew it up. Yeah, whatever's fair. 
Whatever works. <laughs> First and ten, Miami. Haynes holding to a three-point lead. They were down by 14 in the third quarter and have come back to lead the game. Jackson. But not the moves, but he's not fooling the right corner. Anthony King, number 19. Gets him on the field, and the clock's down to three minutes to play. And our scholar athlete of the game is Travis Forney from Penn State. Rigid Tool's commitment to investing in our future is shown today by donating $1,000 to Penn State's General Scholarship Fund. The kicker for the Nittany Lions, Travis Forney. A senior from Mill Hall, Pennsylvania. There he is. We'll be back to the Orange Bowl in a moment. Come on. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. Take that. Take that. Don't let him beat you, KG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Kevin. Watch it. Brandy's in the house. Oh, yeah. With the shirt. I was born to be a cashier. I've been a cashier for 35 years. That's my office right over there. That's where I do all of my business. Good muscles working. I know most of my customers by name. Really, I do. Hi, Gabby. How have you been, Rico? Thanks, George. You don't have to stand in my line because I'm fast. For me, it's an easy job because I have so much fun doing it. Our goal here at Home Depot is to have the lowest prices in town. If you find an item in another store for a lower price, we'll meet and beat that price. Does that make you happy, ma'am? People deserve good prices because money is hard to come by. I think AOL is one big community. It's not hard at all to use. Customer service is always there to help. I've never heard of anybody else having what AOL has. People that are on are just like you. America Online. So easy to use. No wonder it's number one. Sign up today. We've heard your complaints about changing your oil filter, trying to grip that slippery filter. That's why Fram, America's number one filter, now has Sure Grip, a rough textured top for easy gripping and installing. It makes changing your oil filter a lot easier. If you think today's public schools can't educate children the way they did when you went to school, watch the premiere of another season of 60 Minutes Sunday. Chicago Hope season premiere, CBS Thursday. Fridays this fall on CBS, critics are saying now and again as the X-Files meets the six million dollar man. Now and again series premiere this Friday here on CBS, America's most watched network. Don Cricky with Mike Mayock, Orange Bowl in Miami. Fourth quarter, 301 to play in it. Canes go to a play fake. Open guy, overthrown, penalty marker in from the back judge. Might have been a hold. Franks is saying Fox held him. They really rave about Bubba Franks. Book on him. Runs roots and catches like a wide receiver and blocks like a tackle. Who has hurts the Lions? They need to get the ball back. Penn State has two timeouts left. Miami has its full complement of three timeouts. The Canes want to win. Face pass on the defense during a pass play. Five yards, automatic first down. Referee Honig with the call against Penn State. That was a five-yard call, not a ten. So it was not an automatic first down. Ball will be at the 30. It is a first down at the 30. Kenny Kelly, the sophomore quarterback, making just his third varsity start, settling down in the second half. Gets straight ahead to his workhorse back, James Jackson. A man who has a different speed on game day. Jackson from Bell Glade, Florida. Boy, some good ones come out of there. Some tremendous players out of that program. Fred Taylor from Jacksonville. Break in the action. We'll be back to the Orange Bowl in a moment. Hey, y'all, give me some help. You getting tired? You need yeah. some oxygen? All right, come on. Give me another one. Come on. Give me more. Come on. Give me more. Sorry. 
Jamar Casey just obviously made big fumble. Miami trying to take advantage of it both by running down the clock and by putting points on the board. Miami comes to the line of scrimmage. Jackson doing the right thing. Cuts up field, stays in bounds, and will the Lions start using timeouts? Eight-yard gain as uh, Penn State's defense has now been knocked back on their heels in the fourth quarter. Not a big offensive line for Miami, but quick, and they can hit. It's a big day of college football on CBS tonight in primetime. The Home Depot College Football is back with a split national spectacular. Many of you will see defending national champion Tennessee go into the swamp to meet Coach Spurrier's Florida Gators. Or you'll see the Michigan Wolverines go into Syracuse to play the Orangemen who upset them at Ann Arbor last year. Check your local listing. Inside, two minutes left to play now in the game. Jackson, 32 carries, 129 yards, and two touchdowns for Miami. Jerry Sandusky screaming at his corner, Anthony King. He's lost contain on the stretch play several times. Sandusky's been here 32 years, but has not lost the fire. His final season on the sideline. Going to retire. There's a lot of speculation as to the next coach. I, I think they stay within the program with their defensive back coach, Tommy Bradley. He's only 43 years old. He's been here 21 years. Logical next choice. Pete goes on in Happy Valley. Amazing uh, continuity of coaching. You've mentioned 32 years for Jerry Sandusky on the Paterno staff. Paterno came out of Brown University in the summer. After he graduated, he went to Penn State, and Rip Engel hired him as an assistant. He spent 16 years, Joe Paterno, as an assistant. Rip Engel, then he got the head job in 66. Here he is, over 300 wins later, with Sandusky still at his side. Well, the, the Hurricanes have defensive goals for the game and the season. They, they try to stop the run at 2.8. Today's 3-1, real close. Third down efficiency, they try to hold you to 31%. A little worse than that. Now they want the key. 2.8 turnovers a game. If you do that, you lead the nation in turnover efficiency. They got their three today. Miami Hurricanes with an eight-game winning streak against Big Ten opponents. Jackson. This man is running hard all day, taking hits. He still has a full tank, Mike. Yeah, and that was a huge play. Fourth down. Yes, it was. Just showing the field goal. Ball is going to be advanced down close to the 20 yard line. Penn State thinks they've taken over the ball. I think they have too. I think they had to get on the other side of the line. Now the fourth down try looks like it's short, but we'll wait for the chains to come out. And then with 152 left to go, who does Coach Joe Paterno put in a quarterback to lead the drive? Uh, I, I think you have to go with Casey. He's had the hot hand, but if I, you know, Joe Ba usually goes with the guy he thinks is going to make the sure read every time. So this is going to be interesting. And I'm, a lot of people are going to second guess Butch Davis there for not kicking the field goal. I wonder if he didn't have any confidence in Andy Crossland. Well, his last kick, he missed an extra point. They only have to get in field goal range now, the Nittany Lions are sending Kevin Thompson out. This is hard to believe, but Penn State has not lost, or actually Miami has uh, not lost to a Big Ten opponent in so many years. His eight game win streak, last Miami lost to a Big Ten team was to Michigan 15 years ago. They don't play a lot of Big Ten teams. Long ball, there's a guy. It's caught! Shoffy Fields is on the run. A race to the end zone, and Shoffy Fields will win it. He goes in with 142 left to play. Look at the Penn State people on the field. They're going to get called. They're no gonna... flags. It's a touchdown. Penn State has come from behind on a 79-yard pass play. But we're not done. 141 left to go. Wow. This will be huge. This extra point because if the Nittany Lions convert it, they will take a four-point lead. And the Hurricanes will have to score a touchdown. That was just a perfect throw. Kevin Thompson, the 
senior captain of this offense, making the biggest play of his career. And Don, if you want to win a national championship, it always comes down to a game like this where somebody makes a huge play when you don't expect it. Our tradition of Penn State football, that was some drive. One play, 79 yards, 11 seconds to come from behind. And it looked like the Nittany Lions were in deep trouble. Now what can Kenny Kelly do when Miami gets the ball back? Here's the extra point up and good. And Miami now must score a touchdown. Here we are, under two minutes. Shawfee Field from the fly pattern being covered by Mike Rumpf. Rump has pretty good coverage. Look at where he dropped the ball in. That is a great pass by Kevin Thompson. Wonderful concentration by Fields. And with 4-3, 4-4 speed, you're not going to catch him, Don Cricky. No, you're not. Shoffy Fields from inner city Philadelphia, Massbaum High School. A senior. Big play guy. He just makes a huge play. Fields today has caught five passes for 177 yards and two touchdowns. You remember that 50-yard reception in the first half when he was uncovered. Been the difference in the football game. And he was criticized in State College, Pennsylvania this summer for training in Florida rather than staying the summer at State College with the rest of the team. But he went down to Chris Carter's what they call the fast camp. He worked out with Randy Moss. He worked out with former Penn State star O.J. McDuffie. And what he told us the other day that he learned from them was nothing technical. What he learned is he couldn't make the big play every play, and it took the pressure off him to just let his natural ability take over. Now, the kickoff. Travis Forney ready to boom it. They want to make Miami go the long field. It's a good kick. High, but there's wind coming at the ball. It'll be run back by Andre King. Stood up, thrown back at the 21-yard line. So here comes the hurricane offense. 79 yards from the end zone. They've got to get in it to win this game. Down by four. Let's go. Let's go. Get it up. You know who made the tackle on that kickoff? All-American linebacker, LeVar Arrington. He looks a little tired heading to the sideline. And people in the stands, Mike, are a little tired. <laughs> Watch number 11, right in the middle of your screen. Takes on two, three blockers and knocks down Andre King. That's a great play by Arrington. Gets a little help from his buddy right there, number 18, is Kari Adams. Penn State lines up on defense, ready to put the pass rush on. Kelly has to throw. Miami does have three timeouts. He can use the middle of the field. Fires over the middle. He does get his man on the open field. It's Andre King, and he's out to the 36-yard line. Ahead for a first down. Lock stops while the chain markers are moved. A 35-yard gain on the play. Fast break football right now. Field goal does you no good. 15-yard gain. David Fleischauer down on the field, the starting nose guard for Penn State. Fleischauer, I don't know if it's a cramp or what. Down and as the ball is advanced out to the 37, a first down on the throw. Sunday on 60 Minutes. If you think today's public schools can't educate children the way they did when you went to school, watch the premiere of another season of 60 Minutes Sunday. Well, this uh, really works in Miami's favor at this point. They don't need a timeout. They have three left, and they get time now to get counsel on the sideline. Kelly's just coming over to his coach, going back in. But you see Fleischauer's up and all right. Yeah, that was a freebie. That was a freebie for the Canes, Don. Got an opportunity to talk personally with his quarterback, and of course Paterno doesn't like that. Santana Moss comes out wide to the near side. Free safety cheats over on him. They want to double him up. Here's a Kelly looking at him. Eludes the rush. Fires downfield. Intercepted. The ball is picked off. Ascari Adams takes it back. And Penn State will win the game if they can run out the clock with 1.11 left to go. Ascari Adams, a free safety from Camp Hill, Pennsylvania, who's been contending all year for the starting free safety role with James Boyd. 
who was the starter today. The fourth Miami turnover, Mike, might be the knockout punch. Yeah, I think it was, Don. It came with the full-out blitz. Arrington up the middle. King from the corner. Good job eluding him. That's full man-to-man -man coverage. That's what Miami wanted. The ball was underthrown, and Adams made a great play, cutting in front of Frank. Kelly runs away from trouble. Long ball. 
Only guy out there is a Nittany Lion, yet another pick. And that will do it. Right to Baja Joe. Yeah, Reggie Wayne broke the route off, and uh, his quarterback, Kelly, thought he was going deep and went right into the hands of Baljou. Penn State beautifully positioned defensively. They had center fielders all over their end of the field. Anything long, they were going to be in position to make a play on. Five Miami turnovers. Too much to overcome, and a great come-from-behind win for Penn State. As the Nittany Lions now have four downs, Miami has no timeouts. 35 seconds left. Next for Penn State, they go back to Beaver Stadium to play the Hoosiers of Indiana. Big games coming up. Ohio State coming to State College. Thompson in the game at quarterback. Puts the ball down. And Butch Davis sees his defense powerless to stop the clock. Another thrilling day at the Orange Bowl. <laughs> Miami fought the good fight. I, I think that program, let's give them some credit, Don. I think that program's come a long way in the five years under Butch Davis. And they will be a force to be reckoned with nationally here in the Orange Bowl. And that's going to do it as Penn State with a tremendous come-from-behind win. So the Nittany Lions backs to the wall, hit the big play, a 79 touchdown play just as eight. What can you do? Uh, Butch Davis said one of the first football books he read when he was in grammar school was the first book Joe Paterno wrote on coaching. That'll do it. Now for Mike Mayock, this is Don Cricky from the Orange Bowl in Miami, where the final score is Penn State 27, Miami 23. For more great college football action, tune in tonight for number two, Tennessee, at number four, Florida, or number six, Michigan, at Syracuse. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports. And now to New York and to Tim Brando. All right, Don Grickey, thank you very much, and welcome to the College Football Today post-game report. Boy, Penn State did the Big Ten a very big favor with that last score to Chaffee Fields. Had they lost that game, they would have lost Wisconsin, Ohio State, and possibly Penn State. They would have really been leaning on Michigan tonight to prop up the rest of the conference. So a very big win for Joe Paterno for a lot of reasons, and a lot of other people happy about that win in the Midwest. No question. We talked about the reclamation project that Bush Davis